from the back roads of beautiful, beautiful historic Britain to the drag strips of Dubai. Welcome to Forza Monthly. My name is Brian Eckberg. So happy to have you here for the next big episode of Forza Monthly. And I'm so pleased to be joined by these special guests. Guys, we have a ton of special guests today for you um, from all over the place, including Halo guys, Jeff Easterling. What's up, man? Oh, man, dude, I am like stoked to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, we couldn't have a yeah. Halo showcase without having the 343 guys here. It's Jeff, be tell good. us, for those who don't know, yeah. what do you do with 343? Uh, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, actually, a lot of people maybe uh, here uh, see me each week on our uh, 343. 343 social stream, mm -hmm. which is a stream we do on Mixer, but I also uh, mainly do a lot of writing and content creating over at 343, both uh, background fiction and lore type stuff, but also forward-facing stuff like the community updates and all of those It uh, kind of sounds stuff. like a dream job. It is. Uh, it is. I'm not <laughs> even going to lie. Don't want to even downplay it. Uh, it's a bless. It's but a blessing. We got uh, Jeff here also because you're a big car guy. Oh, yes. Uh, I absolutely am a huge, huge Forza fan, even okay. just like from the franchise, I'm like right at uh, tier 12. Oh, right on the edge. Ju yeah, just <laughs> underneath. Uh, and then uh, actually before being in the gaming industry, I spent about 14 years working in motorsports as well in a variety of capacities. I actually worked on the team, uh, the the Pagani Car Sport uh, GR that was oh. in Forza Motorsport 1 through 4. Uh, nice. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was like, I put... I put those stickers on the real car. <laughs> like, oh, this is this is incredible. Well, so no, I'm, I'm stoked to, to no be No doubt about this. it. You've got some Forza cred. you got a lot of Halo <laughs> cred. We're happy to have you here. And we're also Thank joined you. by Terrence Newell. Terrence, with Turn 10, you are project art director. What does that mean? Um, so I, I have I have a cool job. <laughs> yeah, we all got cool jobs. <laughs> so I work at Turn 10. I'm, I've, I've been blessed to work on uh, the, the Forza Motorsport series. Mm -hmm. For Turn 10, I also work on the Horizon franchise. I've worked with Playground on every version of Horizon. Um, and there's something we'll talk about a little bit mm. later in the show that I've also gotten to be involved with this franchise too. So, so I'm you, stoked about That sounds just as cool as mine. For the <laughs> yeah, no, I like okay, both so of these. No diminishment <laughs> <Yeah>. there. <laughs> both of these are great. Well, we're gonna, we, we're gonna be hanging out with these guys and a lot, a lot other guests here for, on Forza Monthly. Let's give you guys a look at the schedule because there's a lot to cover in this episode of Forza Monthly. Of course, we're going to be starting out with some Forza Horizon 4 gameplay on Monday. We, or sorry, Friday, we had the list, the, the listing of all the cars in the game, 450 plus cars. We're going to be checking out a select handful of those with Terrence here. We've got a recap of Games, uh, Gamescom 2018, which just happened last month. And then uh, specialty dealer Paul, you heard me talking about that on Twitter. And then we'll be getting into Forza Motorsport 7. There's some teases there. We've got meetups, experimental drag, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And we're also going to be welcoming Ali Tack here to talk about Forza Racing Championship. We're just on the cusp of the Series 2 playoffs for the Forza RC. Ali's going to be joining us, taking you through that. And then the very end of the show, guys, we're, we're, we're teasing it now, and we're going to have it at the end, <laughs> the Halo Showcase. Now, if you saw... Horizon 4 coverage at Gamescom, you know that this was a big point for the guys at Playground. They're really excited about this yeah. Halo Showcase event. You, maybe you read about it, maybe you held back, <laughs> but now is the day you're gonna see this uh, directly here. There's been here some rumors. There's been, been some been, rumors. Yeah, yeah. Some hushed whispers. Some I don't want to yeah. give too much away, but this is unlike any other Halo experience that you've ever seen in Forza. Yeah. Or, in all honesty, even in Halo. Yeah. It's a, it's a unique true. one. I'm, I'm stoked. So stick around for the end of the show because we're going to get to all of that. Uh, but before we get to the Halo Showcase, as I mentioned earlier, T, we announced a whole bunch of cars yes, we did. on Friday. On Friday, we released the, the uh, we did a, uh, an announce of all the cars on the car list for Forza Horizon 4. Which is 450 strong. We're going to show off a couple of, the sh uh, a couple of those cars now. Uh, we have a couple of cars that we're going to show. T's going to jump into the game now. We're going to start that. And then we want to hear from you guys in the chat. What cars do you want to see? You've seen the full list there in the Weekend Review on Friday. We want to know, what cars do you want to see? So we have a couple of different cars that we want to show you that show you the different breadth of cars that you're going to be able to experience in Forza Horizon 4. Would love to hear from you in chat as well. Uh, and we're, we're going to get through a couple of those. Now, we're not going to spend all day on that. We, we have a lot to get to, but we really want to show you some highlights of the Forza Horizon 4 car list that the guys at Playground have been working so hard on. T, this is a car that <laughs> is especially close to your heart, like, right? <laughs> this feels yeah. like it's the thing we've got behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so just so you know, that Terrence was nice enough to bring in his 2018 Ford Mustang. This is his car. This is... Uh, 
my, uh, oh my God, it's so special to my heart. The awesome bit is not only do I own the car in real life, I'm gonna own the, the car in my horizon life That's also. Right. See what I did there? I love oh. it. <laughs> you live in the horizon life so in real smooth. life and in the game. <laughs> but we're gonna start with the 2018 Ford Mustang. Um, yeah, um, you know, we, we love cars. Mm -hmm. um, at, at turn 10, we love racing, we love cars. Um, uh, yep, go ahead. You love Sorry. Car yep. If you come to our parking garage we, <laughs> in the mornings, when you see where we park, <laughs> we, we kind of call it um, Murderer's Row. Yep. Yeah, well, which, by the way, this is a shared parking garage. That's uh, right. Our buildings are right next to each other. Uh, it's not quite fair. Uh, we thought we were doing pretty good, and then you guys moved in. and. Uh... Well, you guys have all the warthogs lined up uh, you know. the, in the parking lot. It's true. It's just, uh, just the way it is, the way Fort San Halo rolls. Yeah, one of the things we think that uh, um, I especially um, have had the, the privilege of having I think about 60 of the car, cars that I've owned in my real in real life mm -hmm. in the game. Wow. Nice. So like the first car that I ever owned is one of the cars that hasn't made the game. Okay. But the second car that I owned, which was a... Um, Sounds like a feature request. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> I think you got the pull for that, too. <laughs> was in Ford to 2. The, um, it was actually the cover car. Okay. The, the 350Z. Yeah. You know, so... Classic um, orange. It's one of those things. This, this thing, uh, this 2018... Mustang is a beast. Um, it does 460 horsepower, it's yep. 420 at the wheels. Um, you can see um, this one in the game looks a little different than the one on the couch. The yep. great thing is, as soon as I got this thing in the game, yep. I started tooling around on it to see what types of exterior modifications or when I when I got it. So it was like a preview, because you ordered the car and it was a while before you had the real thing. Yes, right? I, ordered the, I ordered the car, um, I think it was like in October, and it. It took, I didn't get the car until January. Okay. You know, which was excruciating <laughs> for a guy like me who, uh, you know, I daily went, you know, to the web to, I'm on the phone, I'm calling the dealer, I'm like, yeah. hey, any news, any news? But, um, you know, for people like, like us, like yourself, that love these cars, yeah. 450 cars is a way for us to, to try to tag the bases for people you know, on, a, on a, a number of different axes. You know, we always try to make the car list make sense for the game, yep. but we're always trying to do something interesting. When you see the cars that we show you today, you'll, you'll see what I mean by trying to make that car list. There's just so much breadth and depth that, for, that Playground has put into the car list here. Um, someone, Swooshian, I think, in chat was saying how good this engine sounds. Maybe give them, some, give them a few revs to really so, soak it so in. So one of the things, um, that I did to my, my real car uh -huh. is I added what um, Ford is calling the active exhaust. So when you start the car, there are four different modes. There's a quiet mode. Okay. <laughs> if you can call it quiet. Yeah. It's Mustang a, quiet. It's relative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, is, there is a normal mode, which is the way you would normally hear the car if you didn't, I, I, I guess, yep. have the GT um, package. There's a sport mode, and then there's um, the way I drive the car. Track and drag mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time you hear the car, it brings a smile to your face. So, you know, in the morning when you're getting up and going to work, um, depending on the traffic, <laughs> it puts you in a certain mood. And but, it wakes uh, everybody your, up. Yeah, but on, your way, but on your way home, when you get in this car and you hear that sound, it, it, it just sounds so good every time. Well, I just love seeing the every taillights. Time. Taillights it's like are super, great. super, super great. My dad had a 65, a Caspian oh. Blue 65. Mustang. Uh, when I was super little, my brother ended up owning a Mustang, one of the newer models. And uh, well, let's. So uh, you know what I want to see, T. Before we move on to the next car, I want to see the in interior of this Mustang. Let's let's go. I want to do. I want to see the interior because I bet it's pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you notice, if you look at the gauge closely, there's a 12-inch digital gauge in this car. Wow. So if you got the premium package, you know you can get the normal. Um, uh, Speedometer. Yeah. Speedometer. Looks looks awesome. so yeah. But if you opted for like this right package, <laughs> yeah. not only do you get the 12 inch digital gauge, but you can configure this. Like you see right now that the trim and all the highlights are in red, uh -huh. and then all the, the indicators are in blue. You can go in and change those to whatever color you want. Like um, if, you, if I go in to start my car, everything is in red. In real life. In real life. In real life. Yeah, yeah. In, just want to be clear. Just want to be clear about that. <laughs> We're not announcing life. that feature <laughs> in Forza Horizon 4. That is correct. But Thank a great feature you. in Thank real life. Thank you for life. that, Brian. Yes. But yeah, it's a great feature in real life. But, you know, like, the, the, the nice bit is the way the, the uh, tachometer and the accelerator perform mm -hmm. in real life, they, it performs the same way in our game. 
That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I hate to uh, I hate to say let's move on because this car looks awesome, and I know you it's 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 close to your heart. But we've got some others to show off. The next one I want to show off is couldn't be more different from the the Ford Mustang. Uh, it's definitely a monster, but it's it a different is. kind of monster. It is a different kind of monster. So um, this is this car we're going to go to next. This vehicle we're going to go to next. It actually appears in the Motorsport Four, sorry, the Forza Horizon Four commercial that we're going to air in just a bit. If you missed that commercial, you'll be able to see it here on the show. Uh, but this is a beast of a different nature. This is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog <laughs> U5023. I don't know what any this of those... This is closer to the one in our game. <laughs> the, this <laughs> is way closer to like a transport vehicle. Yeah, the, the Unihog. <laughs> the Unihog, we that's we right. We were trying to you know, say earlier. We accidentally said that, but <laughs> this thing is a beast in every, in every way. Yeah, so... Um, the five, the, the five zero three desig, the, the the five zero two three designation. Yes. I think the difference is um, the off road ability of, of the vehicle. Okay. So you can you can buy one that's basically like an on road transport, or you can buy an off road flavor. Okay. And because uh, you know of Horizon's off road nature, <laughs> this we feels opted to put the off road flavor of the like vehicle in the game. Scarlet Pimple says, throw a few <laughs> POP fifties in the back of that thing. <laughs> 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 you could fit a lot of something in the back of there. That's for sure. You can throw like a dozen out in front and be like a Santa sleigh. <laughs> That's right. So not the fastest. Uh, oh, nice! You can get the bed. Yes, you I can. I love that. You know, so um, as with all Forza games, we have Forza Vista. Yep. Um, that affords us. It allows us to do some some cool things. We go in, and when we're um, not only just trying to find the car, uh -huh. we're trying to find all the options for the car that makes sense. Right. Um, as you know, we brought a lot of new, you know, wide body kits. This is one of the things that we've been trying to double down on and giving the, the players more options of like kitting the car out the way yep. they'd like to. I, I actually like to, to roll this thing without, without the, the kit. Well, the if nothing else, it helps you see because when you're rolling with the top on, you keep yeah. you can, the, the thing is so big and wide we were looking at before the show began, you can barely see ahead of you. <laughs> yes. So it's like it reminds me of the Mercedes race yes. truck in, in motorsport yep. where you have to race that thing in cockpit because otherwise you're going to have trouble yep. seeing ahead of you. Yeah, and Brian has so much money, I'm going to... I got so much money. I'm going to opt... Oh, you mean in the game? In the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in real yeah, life. Okay. Well... <laughs> um, I'm going to opt to spend a little bit of it in the game. Okay, so what we are we can, buying then? Um, I just brought that option so we can drive oh, this okay. thing with, yeah. with the canopy on. Perfect. Well, let's get this thing on the road. Now... It's like it enables uh, the outside view again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's the outside view enabler. Re-enables the functionality. <laughs> That's right. So a good place to be also in cockpit in this beast. Now, a stark contrast from the Ford Mustang. We're not going to be going 170 miles per hour in this thing. I just love the stark contrast in visuals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's well. right. It's like it's yeah, party this, time. This is what they brought in to set the tournament. Uh, that's right. To set the the festival. They knocked down all the yeah, trees. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but T, you were saying, uh, I think last week, this thing just clears pat clears paths wherever it rolls. Yeah, you know, it's like there's the tarmac that we all love, especially you know people like you know. Our Ford Sport, our Forza Motorsport crowd, mm -hmm. you know, the racers out there. Um, but then there's the Horizon crowd. <laughs> it's <that> absurd. <laughs> hey, the, the shortest, <laughs> the shortest distance <laughs> between two points That's is right. a straight line. We're going. Different kinds of speed here. <laughs> you know, so if you're looking to do some what we call in the game landscaping, uh -huh. this is the car for you. Um, it's it's rare that anything besides the biggest trees that we have oh, on the map. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh this we might roll it. Oh. oh, and there's an example of it. <laughs> Let's okay. try that again. You know how many people would take to turn that thing back over? <laughs> That'd be crazy. 75 peel, peel, peel 50s. You know, really. <laughs> the other side. The other side. That's okay. Oh, there it is. In our game, you just All hold right. X to flip. That's right. So, you got a flip button. Third time's a charm. Now, this thing may, is not so adept going downhills, but you were saying great climber. It climbs. Yeah. You know, and it also does things like plow through walls. Yep. And Walls are just a suggestion. And planters. Nice. And oh. not trees. Oh, not, not that tree, at least. Some other trees. But fences. Actually, it's a good point bringing up trees because um, trees are, I don't want to say they behave differently, but you've sort of opened up the world with regard to trees yes. in Forza Horizon 4. Tell me about that. Yeah, too. so we, we um, you know, we've, we've, all, we've always had this awful nature in all the games with that comes a little bit of uh, um, a sticking point with our communities. We are always trying to take feedback community, you know, assess where we can improve things. One of the things we knew we needed to do better with Horizon 4 was, was what we call the, the tree language. Mm. 
So, you know, you can think of it as car versus. So if, if there's a car um, that you feel like should win versus a tree, it does. <laughs> right. In this case, in, in the game. perfect example. In the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, please drive safely. Uh, we're not suggesting you go out and play this game in real life. <laughs> right. But if you, if you glance at a tree and you feel like that you're probably not going to win in the vehicle that you're in, that is exactly how the language works in the game. So the, the, if you should win, you, you generally win. So we've done a much better job of that, um, which makes it easy to, easier to, to frolic. And, you I know. feel like the visual differentiation alone, too, yes. uh, is, is really good. Yeah, you should be able to tell the difference between the, car, the trees you can get through and the trees you can't. Yes. Which especially helps like at high speed. You know, like, here's a prime <laughs> example. I, I won that one. Uh, it's like, I'm hearing from the folks that they want to see the Peel P P50. I think that's a barn find. Uh, I, I think the Peel sure. is actually a barn yeah, Very find. small a barn. barn. Find? Yeah, it's a tiny <laughs> barn. Very small barn. So we may not be able to get to that, but rest assured the Peel P50 is in the game. I do say we switch cars. Let's switch cars. Let's uh, try something else. Again, we're going 180 degrees in, the, in a different direction. Yes. Um, this is uh, a, a car that isn't new. What we've seen so far, T, is we've seen new to Forza cars. Yes. We've seen cars, uh, the Ford Mustang, the 2018 Ford Mustang, of course, new to Forza. The Unimog, of course, new to Forza. Now we're going to actually check out a car that, uh, oh, should we, should we do the Bugatti or should we do Volvo next? I actually think we should do the Volvo Let's next. do the Volvo next, because this is like a, a midpoint between the Unimog and the Mustang, right? It's like the Unimog yeah. achieving its final form. <laughs> That's right. It's like, it's like third stage <laughs> yeah, it's Unimog. Um, because we're going to end up in the Bugatti because we want to uh, we want to show that off last. The Volvo Iron Knight, the 2016 Volvo Iron Knight. I've never seen anything like this. I think it's. Uh, I think this this car is, does something like uh, 2,400 horsepower. Oh, is that all? Yeah. yeah. 2,400 horsepower. Um, this car behind us that's so near and dear uh, to my heart is rumored to do sub four zero to sixties. You see a car this big and this fast. It's I'm telling you, I'm, I'm that, like, it's the same designers that did like the LaFerrari or the Senna. Like if you just put like a LMP cockpit on there instead, It'd be hard. Yeah. You'd be hard <laughs> yeah. pressed to, t to tell the, the the difference. Yeah, it's just like a story high. Otherwise, it's an LMP <laughs> car. It's, it's basically true. the difference. I love yes. that exposed. A little engine. bit of a drag coefficient. Yeah, yeah. the twenty four hundred marker is a call out for the horsepower. That, the that'll do it. But uh, this thing will do zero to sixty in four point six seconds. Wow. I just I just try to imagine a thing this big, like imagine a bus, a cru a, a, a cruiser style bus coming up on you that fast. Yeah. Like, you probably get out of its way. Let's drive this thing. Let's drive it. So uh, I, I was got to know that we should go into solo mode so we don't see that, that network. Uh, yes. Um, this thing's big. It's heavy. It's kind of like the Unimog in that nothing's going to really stop it in a straight line. But you imagine this thing, it's meant for, I guess, people race this thing? Yes. I feel like the 2400 is like the number of sheep that have been traumatized <laughs> by this thing <laughs> in go the, in the, the game. cockpit. There you go. Look at that cockpit. Yeah. Look at the. I don't know what half those instruments do. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Crucian, cru, I yes. would, that's like s Swedish. For I fast. just assume it's the opposite of off. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think Context right. clues I over think there. I just passed the drag strip, so I'm going to back up here. That's right, because we do have drag strips. And not just drag strips, but we got lanes in Fort Worth. Playground has done a great job. You know, people want to go to these long straights. They want to go to the airports. Well, it's they a white want... night. It has to joust. It's got, <laughs> it, only right. go, it only goes like, you know, you compete in one direction as a, as a night. But we've all been there going to the airport to drag race, and now Playground's built us oh. lanes to oh. go in. I love that. Oh, as you can see. <laughs> Breaking this maybe not absurd. top of the priority list for this. <laughs> this, is <a> little <laughs> bit more, this is a little bit more nimble than the Unimog. But that's not saying much. Yeah. <laughs> This but, thing's meant to go straight. <laughs> but it might be something that you consider, you know, when you go so in so and is you're this couch. cars for racing. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you know, this, 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 this beast is going to hold its own with quite a, a few cars on the car list. So. I, I'm seeing some requests. And there's that. Yeah, and it could knock anything out <laughs> of its way. I'm seeing some requests oh. for uh, the VW bus. If you want to see the VW, VW game, bus. can we get that, maybe? Let's go look at it. Let's go see. So, ah, oh, so good. So we're going to spend some time with some cars that you guys want to see. 
Remember, we've still got the Halo Showcase coming up at the very end of the show. You guys are going to see that Halo Showcase event. We're going to drive it for you. Uh, spoiler warning, just so yep, you know. It's true. It's, there's spoilers there, but uh, if you want to see it, it'll be here at the end of the show. I think we're going to have a little competition, Jeff. I, I think that is the rumor. That is the rumor. They've been, they've been trying to pit us against each other yeah, the they, whole time. That's right. Yes. They're trying to make it combative. <laughs> yes. Just, We're friends just, here. Jeff and I, I, think I so. are friends. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> For now. For now. Who knows what will happen at the end of the show. I guess we'll see it at the end we of the show. We may be show. friends after this. Uh, so should, let's, go, let's go to a user-requested car, a viewer okay. requested car. They're saying the, the VW bus. And uh, if you guys, maybe we'll take yeah. a couple other cars if you want to see it. Uh, there it is, Type 2 Deluxe. Oh, now, awesome. in Forza Horizon 2, this thing was a drag beast. It was. If you got the right tune in there, <laughs> you, could, you could win drag races in a VW bus. You could. It was, you didn't want to turn left or right, but you could go straight. <laughs> you want to go straight. Yeah. You go zero to Woodstock. Straight to and, the you know, zero to like, Woodstock. As long as you've got a straight shot, you're good. We have a few stock chips. I tend to like Let's red. Do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry, tried to peer over the couch there. So the, <laughs> <laughs> VW is supposedly bringing a new version of this out. You guys have seen that concept, the VW yes. bus concept? Yeah. I hope they do. Well, they what they should do so is like, the, like the rest of the industry yeah. is doing and just bring this version out, but electric. Yes. <laughs> I'd be okay <laughs> with that. I think Jaguar is doing it. I, you know, some of the old Astons, maybe. It's, you need one of these, but electric. It'd be fun. All right. We loading it up, Forza Vista. Yes, we are. Let's walk yeah. around this. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. John Iwana is uh, crying with joy right now because <laughs> this is one of his favorites. The upgrade hero should just be like a yellow submarine version or something. This is beautiful. Lovely detail. It doesn't um, have curtains in the windows. You know, sometimes they put <laughs> curtains in the windows. It, it doesn't. That's okay. <laughs> it's an option. It's a VW option. I'm, I'm making mental notes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, part, you know, part of the thing, so... He's probably missing a whole lot of <laughs> our, our design team's <laughs> awesome, so they go in and they track down all these cars. Um, on the, one of the things I do is I work with the car team on, like, how these things look. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm also the king of random quests. Yes. So one of the things I might do um, when I get back to the studio going forward is, is just ask a question about options yeah. for this bus. Well, it brings up a good question. I mean... You, got, you work with Playground really closely. Of course, you're an art director. Um, how does a car list come together uh, in a game like Forza Horizon 4? So, you know, it, it, starts, at the, it starts at the top. The, the guys, the, the, big, the first thing that drives it really is the core design of the game. Mm. So when Ralph and his design team, they go in, they have the idea. They pitch to us. Um, they pitch to everyone yeah. at the org. Um, and when we all get um, on board with what I think in Horizon 4 was a fantastic idea with Seasons. Mm -hmm. um, it starts there. It's like, okay, we're going to do Seasons. It's going to be in, you know, beautiful, historic Great Britain. Mm -hmm. What cars make sense? Um, so we have, you know, the legacy of the three versions. So we have a nice little stockpile car of the, of that makes sense. But we're always looking at opportunities to, to stretch, to add things that we haven't had before, like the Iron Knight, right. which, you know, at first glance might go, oh, that doesn't make sense. But then, you know, when you see that we put a drag strip in the festival, a drag strip on the ice when the light, lake freezes, <laughs> a drag strip along the beach mm. in the summer, an Iron Knight becomes something that's like, wow, this thing already has 2,400 horsepower. Can I make it lighter? Right. to see if I can get it faster. I have a question. Which does, stretches out the, does the, the process kind of, like, does it change when you're selecting cars uh, and working with, like, you know, big manufacturers and stuff, but then when you're working maybe like a race team or a one-off or a privately owned uh, car? Well, you know, the, the designers go in, you know, um, and um, John, who's regularly on these streams, could speak really well to this, but the designers go in and they try to, we try to keep that lens off of it. Yeah. You know, we try to think about, for one, if, is it going to be fun for the, the player? Mm. Like, you know, is, like I'm a fan. Yep. You know what I mean? So I, I like to actually stop myself from playing this game during production because I want to <laughs> consume it the way yep. a fan would. Yep. And when we're thinking about those types of decisions, the first thing we do is think about the player. It's like, ah, oh, this doesn't make sense. But, you know, um, would the player like it? And then would I like it? Because I am a player. I am a fan of these games. Yeah. It's like working with guys like you at 343, that's why something like the, the, 
the Halo Warthog makes so much sense is because it's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know that like that's the number one rule. One of the core pillars of the Horizon franchise. One of the first things those guys did was build the core pillars. They're fun, freedom, and beauty. Those things have come along for the ride in every game. When you're picking cars, is it beautiful? This thing is beautiful. Yep. When you talk about being fans, like we're just as much a fan of you guys. You guys are a fan of the, the Warthog and stuff like that. So I think it's yeah. a, a perfect example. I'm going to take this on the road. Sorry, well, sorry. Okay. I, I tend to play games this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Take like, pause and just talk. No, I'm an art talking. director. So like, yeah. I'm trying to get to, to uh, progression. And it's like I stop and look. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's literally how I play some, the game sometimes. Well, well, let me ask you while we're driving around the VW bus here. Another question, of course, is this game, you know, Playground, they had the idea for seasons. They wanted to bring the game to Britain. That affected the car list as well. Yes. You know, Playground, they, right from the start, they're like, Britain is the perfect place for this game. Yes. And that definitely had influence on the car list. Tell us about that. Yeah, there's, there's so much history. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there are, you know, you guys saw the car list. There's probably some things that you didn't see on the car list that you might see. Um, seasons changed everything. Right. So every week the game is going to change that's going to also bring with it rewards. Yep. So some of the things that you might not have seen on the car list um, might show up in, in week one of Series 1 or in week mm-hmm. three of Series 1. That's um, awesome. And uh, there's so much wrist history. Like, I'm, I'm such a... I have to kind of quell some of the things that I like because <laughs> I love Rally. Right. So, you know, like, when, they, when, we're, when we're saying, hey, we're about to do a game in beautiful historic <laughs> Britain, I'm like, oh, my God. You know, classic rally. Right. Yeah. Just um, makes sense, yeah. It's like, where's my Colin McRae? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so, you know, the, you know, even if you go back to Horizon 3, you can see how that, that game in Australia influenced the cars that showed up on the list. Yeah. Um, we do that every time. It's like, what, what makes sense for the game? What do we think is going to be good for the fans? And then what, you know, the, the most important thing, is it always boils down to, is it going to be fun? I think that's been one of my favorite parts about Horizon as a fan is feeling like each one, it's like uh, listening to different albums. You know, like each yeah. one has its own feel yeah. and its own flavor, and specifically the location has played such a foundational role in that. Yeah, and I mean, and you know, you, even if you, if you go in and like kind of like consume that, like from that level, yeah. you, you, can, you can see that the, the UK um, uh, locale, just, you know, the playground team, yeah. those, those guys are in their There's backyard. Like so much intentionality um, to You know, to Ralph, creative director at Playground, you know, he's, he's heavily involved in, in the, the soundtrack. Yeah. And those guys do an amazing job of, of going through and trying to make um, choices on the tracks, you know, that, that makes sense for yeah. not only just the game and the core pillars of the game, but, you know, the, the game that we're making today. Even there are some, I, I think we actually brought in a few new um, radio DJs ah. that, are, that are from Britain. So. Yeah, and if you missed the, uh, the announcement on Friday, in addition to the car list, we announced the entire soundtrack for Forza Horizon 4. All the, sound, all the songs, all the artists across all of the different uh, radio stations. So uh, I, I know there was a, a, a request for the Renault Alpine. It's not a car I can purchase right now. Uh, let's see, uh, another, lots of requests for the Audi R6. And just so you guys know, we are paying attention. On, we are watching chat on Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. Um, we're going to try to get in some of these uh, some of these requests for the cars you want to see. Uh, RS6 is what they were looking for. RS, we got the RS4 I'm, I'm Avant. Partial to that RS5. You like that RS5? Oh, it's so nice. The let's, lines let's on the RS5. Why not? Are so good. No, we're not going to do colors. We're just going to uh, blue. Classic Audi blue, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes, we got infinite money. Let's do this. Yes. Let's get in the RS5. If you want to see the Dodge Demon, uh, we are not going to be able to get all, all, to all these cars. I know that for a fact, but uh, hopefully you guys are, we'll get to some of them. Yeah. How's the Dodge Demon compared to the Mustang? You, you probably have an opinion on that. You know that Dodge Demon? Wow, you talk about going fast in a straight line? Yeah. Um, holy cow. <laughs> But you know, as a as a guy that also likes to take my car to the track, yeah, uh, it's not the same. Of, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. Do you do more uh, drag stuff when you go to the track, or more road racing? So uh, I don't. So, so the first, so that that thing has a line lock in it. Okay. The first thing I did, actually, the second day that I had the car, I found a, a, a garage, an empty garage. I went to the that top so and good. I put on the <laughs> line lock. Yeah. Because you can do you can do a, a burnout to warm the tires. Yes. Yeah. 
So I didn't drag off the top of the garage, something you would probably do in Horizon. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, it's like we have amazing racetracks really close um, in in greater in the greater Seattle yep. area. There's a place called the Ridge that uh oh the Ridge is awesome yeah yeah. yeah. Um, Lots of the guys that you know we work with in the studio well, yeah. are, mm -hmm. are making tours there all the time, and you know I thought about like if you know if I'm if I'm gonna drive three thousand miles across country, and that Dodge Demon is probably like an amazing cruiser. Oh yeah, but like uh, as a guy who likes to drive, and um, as people people who've ridden in the car with me know that uh, you know I like to drive. Sometimes I like to drive too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the Mustang was absolutely the better choice for me. I cannot so, wait till this comes look out. Look at I'm this. Just, like, this I'm is just, incredible. Like, T, T, are we in the Lake District here? Yeah, you're heading towards Lake District. Um, you're you're left the festival. You're heading, I think, towards oh, Broadway. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh, well, oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, that's nice. Sorry, Addy. Yeah, this should be somewhat of a familiar <laughs> run. This that's is, right. Was, you're still in Unimog like, mode. <laughs> 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 that's right. This is like the demo, right? Yes. This, this is, is similar to the this demo. Is, this is the first drive that we t you take in the demo. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of people are curious about the demo. We don't have an announcement on that today. I know a lot of people are asking about that. Yeah, by demo um, we mean no one was E3, 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 E3 demo. E3 That's show right. floor yeah. demo. Uh, more, to, more to come on the demo. So um, sorry we don't have news on that today, but I know a lot of people are curious. So stay tuned for more info on the demo. Do you, uh, T, I know you were really involved in um, the, the, the world, the creation of the world, the different regions of the map. Um, do you have a particular favorite that you that you most enjoy playing in, or visually, or what have you? Uh, yes, I do. So um, there's an area that you've seen, you know, you've seen glimpses of it in our trailers. If you remember, there's a, a there's, I think it's a bunch of track toys. One of them is a trail cat, and they're doing this huge leap off this giant mm -hmm. mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, we cut away when they land, but if if you stay or spend more time in that area yeah we call it the wetlands okay so it's kind of it's north of the derwent water um ben's team the, the playground art team over there when you see this um it's such an amazing area the thing i like about it is be, is that there's such a mix of surfaces mm -hmm. so you can be driving around on the road and, and there are areas um on the on the tarmac that because of the subtle some of the areas end up with wash mm. from the water uh, you know, so you're on tarmac, next thing you know, you're driving through a, a puddle and then you're in marshlands and it's just, it, it's like a, a roller coaster ride, Yeah. you know, the whole way. It, it, um, it makes you go through and parse the, the car list. Nice. Um, like some of the, the, some of my favorites on the list are the, like the class five buggies that we have in the game. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're kind of like jacks of all trades. All yeah. purpose. You, yeah. They can be fast, you know, they land very well, like the suspension model. The crazy makes, suspension travel. Yeah. 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 And you, and then, you know, the, the story that the car tells when it's on those mixed surfaces, kind of amazing. You know? I have a question. Do you, do you guys have a particular favorite type of activity in the world? That's one of my favorite parts about the game is you have, like, your drift zones and uh -huh. danger signs and speed traps and everything. Do you have, like, particular ones that you seek out first or that you just find yourself going back to? I definitely do. It's all about cross-country. <laughs> I love cross-country events. Whoever designs as a playground, every one of them I love. They're just so... It takes such interesting, um, like interpretations of the, the vegetation, the, yes. the the hills, the valleys. They just they're awesome. They do a great job with that. Yes, um, for me, uh, I kind of hinted towards it before. It's the dirt racing thread. Ah, um, oh, oh yeah, baby, nice. right? And then um, I I also like the drifting. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, one of the cars I owned before I had this Mustang was a, a 2011 Evo oh, 10. It's gonna be in bad. Nice. This is probably isn't the right place. It's like for being a, car, a passenger. <laughs> like I watch them like <laughs> All right, well unfortunately moving we, and moving the hands. We've gotta we gotta move on. Um, T and Jeff, thank you so much for being here. Really enjoyed that. Boy, Absolutely. we have only yeah. scratched the surface of only this. Only scratched car list. the surface. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this. Um, there's so much more that you believe it or not haven't seen. Yes. So it's it's pretty exciting that we're getting close. We're getting so I can't wait to just get back on this couch a little later. No, <laughs> like, I know we're gonna be back. We're all got, gonna be got back. Got good stuff coming up. And T's right. We are two weeks away from the launch of early access for Forza Horizon 4. We're talking the ultimate edition. If you've, so you've got that, September 28th, you'll be playing the game. <laughs> so don't miss it. Uh, let's take another look at the schedule uh, because we've still got a lot more coming up on Forza Monthly. Uh, we are going to look at a, a poll that we've been talking about all last week on Twitter where you can choose cars that will go into the Forza 7 
specialty dealer. We've got all sorts of features coming in Forza Motorsport 7 in September. We're going to look at all of that coming up in just a bit. There's so much to go through. Um, but before we get there, we are going to take a look at the Gamescom recap. Ralph and the team at Playground were in Germany for Gamescom 2018. But first, we're going to uh, look at the uh, Forza Horizon 4 official TV commercial. Whenever you're ready. Ready? We'll get it in one take. Okay. Great Britain, land of dazzling beauty and extraordinary diversity. Season after season, changes arrive as spring rains nourish. Oh my. Oh, those, those magnificent blossoms. Sir, please, uh, just stick to the script. Nature's curiosities, powerful, savage. Good heavens, what is that? It's a, it's a hovercraft. Why? I didn't make the game. She stalks her prey, and the hunt is on, says the big cat. Must I voice all of these? Yeah. Summer at the watering hole. Even hooligans join the fray. It's, uh, it's hoonigans. Hoonigans. Hoonigan. What is this language? It's hoon, it's, it's English. Winter. Wait. Spring? The migration moves forth together. A true multiplier. Oh, no, no. Uh, it's actually multiplayer. It's, uh, it's a type of the game where you can play with multiple players. It's like a shared world. Multiplier. There you go. There you go. You got it. Every creature soars over the greatest Britain ever. Four changes everything. Okay. Get the ultimate edition and play four days early. We're here at Gamescom. We have got a bunch of things that we're, we're showing people for the first time, a bunch of things we're talking about for the first time, as well as obviously recapping uh, some of the big things about the game. We've got big news uh, about how the online works in the game, and specifically we're talking about some of our truly competitive PvP modes. It's now called Team Adventure. That's what we're looking at here, and the best team is the one that triumphs in the end. I think there's going to be people who really go all in on teams. So they build their own team, their, their identity, their team badge, the outfits they wear when they compete, and for them, there's a Grandmaster League, you know, which is like the best players in the world. I think a lot of people are going to be striving to get there. I can't wait to see how quickly somebody actually gets up to that skill level. Tell us more about the shareable world and how you can actually share that with other players. Basically, we're just matchmaking you with uh, with players, so you're seeing other players where previously you'd have seen drive avatars. How can we get more personality into our into our world? It's by actually having real people. Real people do crazy things. They do fun things. They do unexpected things. And even if you only play like in the mindset of a solo player. You just go about your races, you do your PR stunts and what have you. Yeah. Um, I think they'll add some color, some vibrancy uh, to the world, which just wasn't there before. Happy to announce a Xbox One S, $299, comes with Forza Horizon 4, of course. Uh, one month game pass, two weeks of Xbox Live Gold, great value, uh, $299, and it'll be available at launch October 2nd. This is one of the cheapest ways to get this car. Great value. More or less. <laughs> yeah, digitally Our, But that's yeah, not okay. all. We got more, yeah. What do we have here? So this is the Xbox One X bundle. It includes both Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7. Right. One month game pass, two bucks, two weeks of Xbox Live Gold. Both, of course, come with the wireless controller, so two great options for a new Xbox customer. To get yourself into Forza Horizon 4, yeah. which comes out when? October 2nd, and both the bundles will be available at launch. And we're back, and tomorrow, September 11th, the September update for Forza Motorsport 7 arrives. And just like we have in the past, we have some fantastic new stuff coming into the game. You might have seen the tease when you're looking at the schedule graphic here, but we have a couple of things that you guys do not want to miss. Before we get there, let me introduce a new crop of guests that we've got here on the couch with us, starting with Devin Carraway. Devin, welcome. Your first time on the yeah. show. Yep, first time. So, Happy to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. So tell us, what do you do at Turn 10? So I work on multiplayer, basically 
all features, all new features, all fixes to MP issues and things like that. So basically playing the game, figuring out what the fans want and implementing those things. And so you've done things like drift updates. Drift updates, tuning, upgrades, uh, changing your assist on track. Um, you, know. you guys can thank this guy for all that <laughs> awesome work. Well, a lot of people working behind the scenes to make that happen. Welcome, Devin. Great to have you here. If you've seen an episode of Forza Friday, you might have seen this face before. This is Jennifer Hi, Lange. everyone. Hi, Jen. Hi. Welcome to Forza Monthly. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, we were trying to decide when the last time you, were, you and I were on a show together. We definitely yeah. did a bounty hunter. Definitely did a bounty hunter. And we did a couple of shows. But I think I kind of snuck in... Verena to one of your Made a shows. Made a cameo? Made a cameo. Nice. An unannounced cameo. <laughs> well, it's so nice to have you here. Tell us, uh, for those who don't know, wh what do you do at Turn 10? Um, I am a design director at Turn 10, and my team is responsible for uh, the events that uh, are in the game, mm -hmm. and it's something we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. All the good stuff, all the fun stuff that you guys play every month. This is Jen and her team. Finally, a familiar face, Chris Sasaki, familiar, you're back. Familiar. This is great. I'm so happy to be back, and I, it's so amazing to have... Jen and Devin here. Mm -hmm. um, it, we just have a, such a great and talented, huge team, and uh, showcasing all the stuff that's uh, that's coming. And and we know when you're here, Chris, we have good things to announce. Usually, hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> always could be the bringer of bad news. Hopefully no, not. This is all good news today. All good news. Good. So welcome, Chris. Great yeah. to have you here. Listen, we good got a lot to get to with this sept September update. Before we get there, though, I want to talk about our specialty dealer poll. If you've been following us on Twitter last week at, at Forza Motorsport, you know we put up some some pictures of cars, groups of cars. You guys can vote on those cars today. We have four groups of four cars, and the winning group will be on the specialty dealer. We'll be put into the specialty dealer right after the show is done. Right, Jen? Yeah, so that's exactly what's going on. Um, as many of you know, we update the specialty dealer every Tuesday. We're doing something special for the show this time. It's the first time ever that we're going to have Forza Edition cars on there, and you'll We'll put up these four cars after the show, mm -hmm. in addition to what's going to happen for the rest of the week, our standard thing, and the fact that there are 100 credits per car. That's right. That's We haven't announced that price yet. Oh, Every I just, car. I just no, announced it. I want you to announce it. Every car that goes into Special <laughs> Dealer from this group. 100 credits today. This is a Wait, Forza monthly special. 100, Wait, oh. 100, 100 credits. Is that okay? See, this is what happens when I let you do stuff. <laughs> so if you want something on sale for 100 credits, just make sure I'm on the show so Chris doesn't know about it beforehand. <laughs> More deals coming your way thanks to Jen and her team. Oh boy. So <laughs> you see the list up there. We have, Like we said, we've got four groups of four cars apiece. Um, let me run through these just so you know exactly what you're voting on. Uh, in Group UK, we are looking at the 2013 McLaren P1, the Forza 5 cover car, the 1971 Lotus Elan Sprint, the, the 2017 Bentley number 17A uh, Continental GT3, and there's that Forza Edition car. That's the 2016 Jaguar F-Type Project 7 Forza Edition. Uh, next down the group is Germany. That's the 2014 Porsche 988. Spider, 918 Spider, 1973 BMW 2002 Turbo, the 2014 number 45 Flying Lizard Audi Motorsports R8 LMS Ultra, a very popular car online, and another Forza Edition car, the Mercedes Benz C63 AMG Coupe. Uh, group Italy, now I'm seeing in chat, this is a pretty popular one, Group Italy, because we've got the Ferrari La Ferrari, we've got the 65 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint Stradale. Uh, a car that I know Ali Tack loves in the Lamborghini number no. 63 Squadra Corsa Super Trofeo. And the Forza Edition car is the Maserati Gran Turismo S Forza Edition. And finally, last but not least, in the USA, the 1966 Ford number no. 2 GT40 MK2 Le Mans, the 1971 Chevrolet Vega, a car I know people want in the 2016 Ford number no. 66 Ford Racing GT Le Mans. Chris, I think people could only get that from a showcase event That's previously. That's right, and that is a beast of a car. It is an absolute beast, a Le Mans winner. 2016 Cadillac ATS-V is your Forza Edition. All of those four groups you can vote on right now. The polls are live on Twitch and Mixer, so get your vote in, and then we'll announce the winners in just a bit, and the winning group will be put into Special Dealer right after the show's over. And I can't tell from the comments on Mixer who's going to win. It looks it's, pretty even. I, I, it goes in waves. I see a lot of Italy, then I see some USA and Germany. It's hard Italy to tell. Italy's starting to make a comeback, but it's looking, I'm going to guess it's that tough. it's going to be U US, UK that are going to be one, two. Well, Maybe. we'll find out. Yeah. We'll find out in mere we'll minutes. we money on that? Is it, is Ooh, it, some, uh, make this interesting. How about a donut? <laughs> a donut. Donut You're money. Oh, okay. I like that. Do you have a favorite car in the list? High stakes. 
Who me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love. Well, I love the La Ferrari, of course. I'm 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 trending towards Team Italy here because uh -huh. I just love that Super Trofeo. That's a That's really a nice drivable car. car in Forza. Um, Stradale. I remember in Forza Three, even before I worked for Forza Forza, I used to take the Stradale around and and uh, and take pictures of it because I love the look of that car. The sweet so car. If you ask me, I'm I'm pulling for Group Italy, but fair enough. It's up to the community. Fair enough. All right. Uh, so. Vote now. That poll won't be live forever, so get your vote in now, and we will announce the winners in just a bit. Uh, Devin and Chris, it's time to talk about something that I know people are super excited. Well, we're just hearing about it now. Maybe they don't even know about it. No, we're no going to announce. One, what are you talking about? No one knows they about They don't know it. anything so about this. I, <sighs> meetups. Meetups. Um, we'll go into the details they of it. They said it couldn't be done, they Chris Sasaki. Could, I know. <laughs> so here's the crazy thing that we've been doing over the, the last, you know, what, eight nine months now yep. since January. We had this, uh, around January, we actually had a phone conference call with the ESDA and, uh, and then, of course, watching a bunch of the streamers like Arrow and, and, and the like. You know, we, we started really, really trying to figure out how we could support the Drift community. And, of course, we had the, the amazing Drift update that just launched, um, and now Meetups was the, one of the top two kind of feature requests in terms of kind of how drift meetups are, are run, how, how drift racing is basically done tur tournament style. Um, but that got us thinking not just about how we could support the drift community with something like a meetups, um, but how it completely changes all of multiplayer and it becomes much more of a, a social kind of hangout space um, where you can kind of just show up on the track, hang out, uh, tune cars, race cars, drift, d do whatever you want and just kind of hang out. And that was the thing that uh, really got me excited about this specific feature. Now, why, one of the reasons why we have Devin on today is because he actually designed this feature. Yeah. So, like, this is, uh, Let's get it on screen, guys. Yeah, yeah. They want to see this. So here we are, Devin. We are at the test track, but it's a test track you've never been able to play other than tag, yep. right? What, what, are we, what, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so basically we have the, the tag test track. Uh, we have drift scoring available, so you can see we have angle and speed. There's no line here, so you can basically drift however you want, so I can go completely backwards across, like, basically a different direction than the flow of the track, not penalized for that. You basically only get penalized for hitting things. Mm -hmm. So you can basically play this map however you want. It's just a big open track. So this is, a, right now we have you and we have a handful of other uh, Forza devs. This is a dev build we're looking at, so um, we're all hooked up online. But there's, as I understand it, Dev, there's two different flavors of this. Right now, you're hosting this quote unquote lobby. Right? Exactly. And you have full control. Yep. So, what so does that mean? What, what kind of options do you have available to you? So, as the host, basically, I could go back out to the lobby, I could change the map that we're on, for example. Um, so, I, I could just show you that right now. Yeah, go for it. So, if I go back to the pits, everybody's still on track. Um, you just dropped back into the I lobby. Just, yeah, I dropped yep. back into the lobby, and as the host, I have control over basically what's going on here. So I could go into race setup. I could stop this race. That mm -hmm. would pull everybody back out to the lobby. Okay. I could change the track that we're on, and we'd be on our way to the next track. Okay. Um, so we could do that now, if, if that makes no, sense. No, let's, let's show me what, it, you, you tell me what you want to do. We've yeah. got a lot of different options here. So I guess I'll kind of show the, the main new thing about meetups is that, so we have this race already going in progress, and if you're, not familiar with how FM7 multiplayer works, generally speaking, once everybody's on track, you have to either wait for the race to, e to end or wait for everybody to back out in order to join. Right. And so I would just be stuck in the lobby. I'd either be spectating, test driving by myself, or just waiting. Um, but with meetups, I'm in the lobby right now. I can hit join race, no waiting. And it's that quick. I'm back on track with everybody else. Um, and so that's not just available on this track. I can do it for any track. Um, any track in the game can be a meetup spot, essentially. Exactly. So this car is just a car that's kind of just put together. I didn't, there's no real thought about it. Um, so, for example, I just I don't like this tune very much. Okay. While I'm on track with everybody else, I can go into tuning. I can make adjustments to the car. Um, so I'm just going to do something ridiculous. Let's just say I want the front to be super stiff. Yep. Get some more understeer in there. So I've tuned my car on okay. track with everybody else. So I should see. Oh, okay. And they can, everybody else <laughs> can tune their car now, but they yep. don't have... Now, in a private lobby like we're in here, it's only the host that has control. Only the host has control, yeah, over basically the game options. So the right. host is the only person that could change the track or you know change whatever the rules are for the lobby. And so what's that, ex I mean, I don't, I don't want to do it just yet, but what's the experience like? I do want to see another track, but um, 
if you switched over to Maple Valley right now, would just pull everybody back to the lobby? Is that exactly. how that works? Okay. Yeah, I can take you through that right now. So if I go back to the pits, everybody else is still on track. They haven't quit out or anything. Okay. Um, previously, you would, as a private party host, you or a private lobby host, you would have to beg everybody to back out. And you know, there might be somebody who's away from their Xbox or something, and you're just stuck. Yep. So yep. now I can go in here. This stops the race. So basically, in 10 seconds, everybody will be pulled back out to the lobby. Okay. Um, and then we can start, uh, you know, going to our next session. So. So now everybody's race ends, back. Everybody's back. Everybody's okay. back in the lobby now. Um, let's do a good one. Short reverse. Um, keep the game options the same. But I'll just go into a few things here while we're here. So yeah. basically, you can change the scoring type. So you could do a drift lobby here, um, or you could do like a time-based. Uh, time trial type of thing where it'll keep the best lap times. So you could have a practice session here and then switch it over to like a real race if you wanted to. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's just load Maple Valley now. So everybody's back in the lobby. We're loading the next track. It's just like switching in a hopper. You're going to a exactly. new spot. Yeah. And, and can you, you, I assume you can do things like time limits, number of laps, you know, you have a lot of control as the host, right? Exactly. So in this particular case, so for meetups, there is the only in condition is the host. I see. Telling. So it'll go as long as the host yeah, wants to. Yeah, it just to. keeps going. So you'll see once we get in. So we don't even need everybody to be ready to go. We can just launch the track, go, and then they can join in whenever they're ready. Oh, that makes sense. Um, so once we get in here, it'll be a little clear how the race actually ends or how the session actually ends. So. It starts pretty much how any other game mode starts in FM7. So basically, if you look over at the lap section, we have lap one of basically infinite. Yep. So this would just go on forever um, until I stop it. Now here, we're back. Now when we were on the test track, we were seeing... Oh, this car has uh, that super stiff front suspension. Oh, you got you to <laughs> retune that thing. Got to retune the car. Um, but here we're back to the Let's line uh, scoring on... on Drift scoring, right? Exactly, yeah. So we're back to the line. So if you recall on the test track, we didn't have line because that track doesn't really have... It's just um, open. It's just an open track. Yeah. You can do whatever. Um, in this particular case, uh, yes, I'd like to fly set up. I'm getting crashed into over here. All right, now we should be back kind of to like a normal tune here. Well, so th there's so many... Yeah. So we're, we're showing off the drift portion here, and, mm -hmm. and I, I can tell just re reading chat, it, it's like this is this was born and bred out of supporting the drift racing community. But what's amazing about this feature, I, I do want to be clear about this. This is this is not just a drift feature. Right. This is an all-encompassing Forza feature. You can do open, basically open track, track days type of thing. Um, for any type of race th th that we support. That's the whole point here, is to, to make this much more of a social thing. You can just kind of hang out here. Okay. Meetups are about hanging out with your friends. Have a little car show. Have a car show even. Yeah, it, it, it's it, you can hot lap to your, to your heart's content, um, tune up the cars, switch up cars, and just kind of hang out with your, with your buddies. Like That's the whole point of this. Um, and it, it's you can join in progress. That's that's the whole thing. Just drop in, drop out, switch easy, cars, switch cars. Yep, it, love it. It's super fluid, uh, and and I and I don't mean to understate this. This is this is kind of looking at the future of Forza to me, hmm. right? Where we're becoming more about Somewhere how we think about smaller. hanging out, just <laughs> just just being much more of a social game. Sure. Just like hanging out with friends and racing and. Dorking around with cars, like that's just that's just what this game is all about. So this meetups feature, when we first started talking about it as, oh yeah, this is this is how the drift community kind of runs their events. That that was awesome to think about how to support that. But then it was just immediately apparent once we started kind of getting in this to understand that this is uh, this is so much more natural. Yeah. And when we think about motorsport, right? It's uh, the top 1% of 1% of, of motorsport is, the, you know, like the F1 race weekend with practice sessions mm. and qualifying, and that's great. We'll have that kind of stuff, and mm -hmm. we'll always support those types of things. But, like, grassroots motorsports is just, like, hanging out with your buddies at the track, right? right. And e even if it's just, you know, like the Lemon Series or just even all the way to one lap or something like that. These Showing are, off your liver. Yeah, yeah. You're, just, yeah. You're just at the track having fun with your friends. Um, campaigning a car to like it, it is it is a very social experience and it's something that you know as a motorsport game we have to just 
this is where we're going. This is all about the community, your friends, and just hanging out. And so, um, yeah, it, it, it's so it's so amazing uh, just looking at something that is just kind of drop in and drop out as looking at the future of Forza. Right. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. This is great. Um, I, I see so many things with this, even things like supporting race weekends um, mm. just kind of naturally. Imagine, imagine where this can go, where everyone's just kind of hanging out, doing hot laps, and then uh, the host says, or, or you guys vote on, hey, uh, let's get a qualifying session going. Yep. Boom. Um, your time in the next you know, three laps or whatever you can set it to is, 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 is hot for the, the race, and you just kind of set on grid, is ready to go, and you just go race right after that, and then boom, right back to the meetup session and just hang it out. I, it's, it's so fluid. It's, mm. it's kind of like... Whoa, Whoa that was awesome. nice. <laughs> Little wheelie action there. Showing off. I love it for the stream. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, go for it. We're, we're, we're just su super happy to, to bring this, uh, this, this feature. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's really great. It's kind of a theme we have going today for Forza 7. A lot, a lot of things you guys are going to see here today yeah. are first steps. They are first steps. And towards right. building, right. you know, and they're going to be built upon over time. Um, I wanted to point out that and right now we're showing off the sort of private match version of meetups yep you're going to have a we're going to have a number of events built we're going to have uh as of tomorrow as soon as the content update goes live we'll have three public events so if your friends aren't online mm -hmm. at the time or you just want to check it out and see what's going we'll have three events available for everybody that'll be public library and those work a little bit different from a private because you have uh, it's uh, there's democracy in action you got to vote on a track change right exactly down. So tell, tell us about how that's, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, so my, my goodness. <laughs> so you're in a public lobby, you want to change a track. How, how does someone initiate that? So basically it's the same as our current, uh, uh, like if you're familiar with the public hoppers, basically you click in the left stick uh, at the end of the match and that would bring up like the kind of the, the voting menu. Mm -hmm. So basically this voting menu is available at any time to you now. So basically on track you would pause the game and it would give you a little notification saying press the left stick in. Got it. Um, to vote, or you can go back to the lobby and do the same thing and vote, and it'll give you basically our, our typical voting UI, which has like three tracks on the screen. Um, pick one of those tracks, and it basically shows you uh, what percentage of oh boy, oh, <laughs> no wrong way in the meetup that, that track has. <laughs> so if there's one person or two people in the lobby, one person voted for Maple Valley, it would show that that track has 50% of the vote. Okay, and a track needs to get more than 50% of the vote for the current track to end. I see. So once we, once a track gets more than 50%, so 51% or higher. Yep. Um, then you switch over. Yeah, we start the race in, timer starts, that track starts getting shut down, and then we start moving to the next track, kind of like you saw in private. Yeah. So yes, this it supports both public and private. Exactly. Lives. You guys will have the option to set up your own or join one of the publics and hang out with uh, the strangers and drift together, hot lap together, whatever, what have you. Um, so I love this. Meetups is fantastic. Devin, thank you so much uh, for our look at Meetups. We are going to uh, take a look at uh, another new feature that I'm so excited to, um, to show off for the very first time. Uh, Experimental Drag is here. Uh, Chris and I and, and all of us are going to talk about Experimental Drag in just a minute. But first, we've got a really special video we want you to check out. All right, let's, let's switch over. Well, you remember us talking about it back in May for the very first time. We said we were working on an experimental form of drag racing. And here in September, September, starting tomorrow, experimental drag will be in Forza Motorsport 7. Overjoyed to say those words, Chris wait, wait, What was that? What was that? That would be tomorrow. Tomorrow? tomorrow? Yes, that would be tomorrow. Yes. Uh, finally, <laughs> we're here. Um, we talked about this, like you said, back in May, mm -hmm. and uh, every every day I have not. There has not been someone asking when is the drag update coming? Why is it not this month? Well, first of all, I got to say that we have been trying to get this thing out. The the only thing is we have been so focused on you know, just making sure the game has been healthy, 
that we've had to push this back time and time again just to make sure that FM7 at its core is, is just, just rock solid. Sure. I think we've gotten there for the most part, and um, now we're, we're, we've been having to trade off back and forth in terms of uh, like Forza Race regulations and meetups mm -hmm. and, and just supporting the overall uh, community here. Um, so tomorrow, we're finally getting drag, and uh, it, we couldn't be happier about yeah. it right now. I have a Broadway song that's stuck in my head okay. now. Oh, I'll let's sing hear it to you after the oh, show. Oh, I thought you were going to no. sing a dance. I'm not going to sing it. Not on, not on a string. No, no humming? No. Okay. All right. We'll um, do it later. So in the vein of things that are community supported mm -hmm. and iterative and first steps, uh, as you said, uh, this is experimental drag. This is part of our experimental uh, programs. Yep. Um, we're launching this w as not a super full-featured uh, um, mode, meaning that it's not supporting things like multiplayer. Right. Uh, it is only available in free play, and you only get one track for now. Um, we are opening this up to get as much feedback as possible, um, and you'll go into free play here, and you'll see the first time you go into free play, you will see this uh, this this bright yellow Can't construction. Miss it. Experimental drag quick setup uh, button, and just click that, and you'll be launched into the free play experimental drag. Uh, I'm going to select a different car. Um, let's get a drag car. What do we have? Uh, I thought we had that 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 Nova. Let's, yeah, setup. here we go. Yeah. Some American Muscle. Ooh, mint green. Mint green. I Nova. mean, the perfect drag racing color, as we all know. Nothing says speed like Spearmint. I like it. I like it. But nothing says not speed <laughs> than Nova. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. Um, so there are many, many things here that are added to drag. And uh, the, the first thing is drag racing is a 10 second at a time experience, right? So we wanted to make sure you can consistently go in and out of these things. So you will see... One of the things that we fixed here uh, is this kind of core loop of, of race and rewards and race and rewards. Mm -hmm. um, we've cut a lot of it out, um, and it just gets right into the action. So, boom, I'm in it. You can see now we have this new lineup, um, and you have our new feature of free rev. You can see I'm kind of free revving here. Yep. And uh, try not to blow the start there, and yes. Oh, it's squirrely. It is squirrely, so apologies as I'm trying. <laughs> I think this thing gets going, though. Uh, that's, that's a true oh Nova. Yeah. <laughs> nice recovery. Um, as I think I was saying to before, this is a 10-second car, and um, I'm just really slow. Let, let, let me interrupt you, Chris. <laughs> I win clear. one, two, three, one, two, three. My main problem with drag racing is the load times. One minute load for 10 seconds of driving. That's right. That's the old okay. drag racing. That's right. So results come up. I'll get in the results in just a bit, but let's see. Race again. How long does it take? Uh, about that long. Right. Less than um, one minute and 10 <laughs> yeah. seconds. Yes, less than one minute. Okay, so um, we're going to show something else off here. I'm going to blow the start. I launched early, so yes, you can red light foul, and it'll, it'll disqualify you from the race. Um, and I am going to pause the game and restart. Yes. Well, this is going to take forever. This is gonna probably going to oh, take wait. half an hour. It's uh, what? back. So yes, um, we've dramatically sped up this whole kind of race restart, race again. I think I got a pretty decent launch there. Oh, I'm gonna blow it over here. Oh, oh my! Wow. That is how Nova's. You can drive. still pull it out. I think you can oh, still win this. It does pull after oh, about. Oh, maybe oh, not. No, I lost that one. That's okay. That was terrible. Um, okay, so. You can see some of the things that are here on, on this events, uh, the results screen here. Um, stuff that is not part of, of uh, drag or any other racing right now. So, of course, total time, that is just, of course, your, your, your quarter mile time. Yep. Um, so you also have a reaction time, which is something we've never had before. This is, uh, I mean, Jen, I, one of the things that you've been telling me is, is when we had this out, you started just getting addicted to playing this over and over again. Why I, was that? Mm. I'm not a drag player. I played it a couple times. I wanted to get the feel. I, did, I also didn't like the load time. It just didn't feel like there's a lot of reward. They, couldn't, they had to take the controller out of my hand because yeah. I was like, I can work on my elapsed time. I can work on my reaction time. And, I, and I, it's just like, just one more, just one more, just one more. 30 minutes later, I'm still at it. Yeah, mm. th this is, yeah. Th th <laughs> this is addictive, <laughs> bite-sized gaming at its best. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we have this crazy new just loop where you can instantly just get right back into the action and try to improve that, that reaction time um, try to improve your trap speed, uh, check out different tunes. I mean, 
This is crazy. Tune on the track, tune on, you know, before the next race, right? So, um, I love that. I love the Christmas tree too. Yeah, so we Christmas have a tree start. brand new Christmas tree HUD element. Um, oh, got a little under 11 there. That was good. But see, clearly I've got some more time in the car. I'm just going to keep them going back and forth and, and just doing this over and over again. Um, so yeah, this is just super addictive. Um, so, so you can see here on this screen um, at the very bottom left, this is actually where you get your, your, your summary of all your upgrades and I'm sorry, your, uh, your credits and XP and all that. So we, we've simplified it. It used to, when you finished a race, you'd have to go through all of that yep. uh, long sequence of, oh, here's your rewards, oh, here's more rewards. And, and all of that sequence took about 40 seconds or so. Mm -hmm. So we've cut all of that out, and you can see it just goes, boom, here's results, race again, and then right back into the action. You're still earning rewards. You're still earning out. rewards, and actually we have a pretty decent payout for, uh, for doing the drag, uh, uh, drag mode right now. Did I blow? Oh, no, it's good. oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty good. I think you got this easy. Oh, this is really good. This is a sub 0.3 reaction time. You, this is the fifth or sixth time you've already that was done good. this. That was pretty that good. Was, that was, that's that was a tenth. That's ten and a half seconds. That's yeah. So I dropped a, a you know a tenth of a second there. Um, Look at your reaction time. <laughs> 0.083. That's pretty solid. That's incredible. Oh yeah. That's wow. <laughs> I've but this is exactly it. You can watch in real time watching changes to your gameplay to improve on it. You don't have to wait so long in between, and that really makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Jen, do you want to play this? No. Okay. Well, I can't beat, nobody can beat that. You just, oh. you just, as soon as you said a 10-4, you're like, who else wants to play? Yeah, drop the mic. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. well, let, me set, let me set this ridiculous time. Yeah. Would you like to try now? How about no? Oh, man. Uh, yeah. So once again, this is, this is one of our new experimental programs, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you can tell that this is there's clearly different things happening here in terms of how we're doing rewards, the the speed at which you can get back into the action. Um, all of these things are informing how we think about Forza going down uh, into the future. So this is definitely informing how we think about general motorsports and general kind of our reward structures and our payouts and all those sequences, which is great because um, mm -hmm. you know obviously we just want to get back into the race. Um, so as we launch this. This is really important around our experimental program is all about the feedback that we get from the community. So when we launch this, we're looking to hear as much feedback as we can to move this uh, forward, this, yeah. this entire drag racing feature forward. Um, clearly, there are things like, uh, you know, temperature management that we'd want to do, like heat cycling the tires to make sure we have enough grip in there and p potentially look at new drag surfaces and tire wrinkling and, and all sorts of crazy, awesome, super deep drag features. Um, but uh, but right now, I mean, we, we've got uh, you can you have a new Christmas tree. Yep. You can free rev. You can blow the start, and then we have a bunch of stats to fill that in, and then of course this quick restart. So, um, really looking forward to seeing how people play this and and uh, see how you're liking it and you don't like it, and how we can help people uh, have the best drag experience in, in motorsport. Absolutely, um, it's incredible. I can't wait for everybody to be playing it. Just like Chris said, we want your feedback on this. We're going to have a. Uh, a thread in the forums where you can give us your pointed feedback, what you like, what you want to see improved in experimental drag. And believe me when I say the team is listening because they built this feature for you guys. You guys have been talking about what you want to see in drift, what you want to see in drag, what you want to see throughout the game. Here's a really great chance to give a lot of feedback to the team because we want to take this as far as we can possibly take it in the future. So love that experimental vroom, vroom. drag. Chris, it's awesome. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, well done. Um, Jen, before we, before we uh, move on, yes. I want to talk a little bit about the engagement team. Sure. What we call internally the engagement team. What that means is the team that builds awesome stuff for you guys in the game. Tell us about the team, what kind of things you're, you're building on a, on a daily and weekly basis. Uh, so my team builds all the events that you see in the game, and that includes, and I might forget some, Forzathons, the specialty dealer, our hoppers, the leagues, rivals, and then our special events like Bounty Hunter, which uh, right now we have a return of turn 10 That's ladder right. going on. Next month, I, I cannot confirm or deny that someone on this couch that might be named Devin is going to <laughs> be participating in a bounty hunter that in a different type that different we have not type. done before. Yep. And thanks to all this community feedback and the changes that we've put in the game, we are now able to do that. Um, so my team works uh, 
on a daily basis putting things into the game. Sometimes we have monthly events, sometimes we have weekly events, sometimes we have daily events, and then our special events. So we work with, uh, we're going to be talking about the Spotlight car mm -hmm. soon. We have events that support that. Forza RC, we put in the qualifiers, and then we also set a whole plan to take over for everything from a casual player to a really hardcore, competitive, top 1% player. Um, that's the hardest part of my job is we have a lot of content in the game and everyone has different play styles. And so the goal is to get enough variety. So maybe you don't like every single mm. event, but hopefully you like a few of those events and we'll keep putting those in. So um, we read the forums quite a bit. We read our social media. Please keep talking about the events, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Um, I, I'm fine with you saying that you don't like something. Mm. Just tell us why you don't like something because we can use that knowledge to make things better and better over time. And it's that kind of feedback that sort of leads us to get to the point where we have class-based hoppers and ABCs and the kinds of events that the Forza community has spoken loud and clear that they want to see. Um, so yes, keep that feedback coming. It's all great stuff. I wanted to ask Jen um, a little bit about how you guys build events. We talked about how the fact that we've got a specialty dealer poll going on here on the show, that we're people are going to see that right after the show's that's ends. That's correct. But sometimes things take some time to build. Yeah, that's a really good point. So you, um, a lot of you know that we do our weekly community rivals polls. Uh, and then the winner gets put in the game. There's some work that goes on behind the scenes to make that seem pretty easy and seamless. With the specialty dealer, it's something that we can update fairly quickly over mm -hmm. time. Some of our events take months to build. So our Forzathons that you're seeing now were probably first designed probably five months ago, mm. and they require a content update. So um, when you have something that is really special that requires a content update, we have to be really careful to make sure everything lines up, even a season before. Um, and um, depending on the type of event is how quickly we can react to that. Things with rivals and hoppers are sometimes a little bit easier, specialty dealers easier than a league or a Forza-thon. It all takes time. And as Jen mentioned, we have a bounty hunter going on right now, which is going to it's gonna be ending towards the end of the month. We haven't announced the final end date for that. But remember, that's a fantastic opportunity for you guys to beat up on turn 10 people and win awesome rewards in the process. Uh, we've got four people in the event. And the more of us you beat, the more rewards you get in Forza Motorsports 7 cars. Uh, we've got credits. I think we have, do we have driver gear in there? Can't remember. I believe we have some driver gear in there. We have we started to give out a lot more credits. I would love to hear your feedback on types of rewards you'd like to see. Since we unlocked the cars in July, we know that it, it's hard to build up enough credits to get everything you want. So we started putting in more credits as rewards in the game. So let it, please let us know how you feel about it, if there's other things that you would like to see. Absolutely. I know one thing people want to see is more free cars, which leads us to our next segment, oh because boy. we have a September Great spotlight segue. car. <laughs> Thank you very much. I pride myself <laughs> on my segues. Let's go to our next September spotlight car. Guys, we have another insane race car for you guys to enjoy in September. It's the 1984 Nissan number 11 Skyline GTR Super Silhouette. And Another 80s race car maniac. And this is such, so classically ridiculous <laughs> 80s. Yes. I'm glad this one is number 11 because this one goes to 11 goes in terms 11. of modification. This uh, The Super Silhouette is a gr group of cars that are a group five series uh, in the FIA. Mm -hmm. And that meant you could mod almost everything. So anything that was not the block, the roof, who wants to modify the roof? <laughs> the doors... Uh, or the hood could be modded and oh. just boxy 80s. This is the mullet of, <laughs> of cars. Look at this. So serious in the front. You yes. can plow snow with Easily. that. Easily. And catcher. then you got a party in the back yep. with this ginormous spoiler. Uh, and it's Japanese, so we get it on the right side. Just conveniently phase right through the bar there, and we're inside the car. Devin, this thing is insane. Look, do you see the wheels is. on this thing? Yep. It has super wide tires. In addition to the crazy looks, the power that went on, this is a dual overhead cam, 2.0 liter, 398 foot-pounds of torque. Oh. But you could get this with the right proper tuning. This is the LZ engine. Um, you could get over 560 horsepower, which at the time was more powerful than a Formula One of the same era. 
Uh, that's pretty impressive, and this car will be available to everyone for free in Forza Motorsport 7. And Jen, we're going to have some events built around this car. We as have well. uh, some rivals event. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of other events I think going on. I'd have to check with the team. I know we have a special rivals event. People for want that. me to drag race this thing. Oh, do it, please, <laughs> please do it. Fine. Okay. You Let's pull try my it. arm. Yes. Okay. This, this car was affectionately termed the Iron Mass because in the 1984 edition, the grill was changed and most of the grill was removed. Okay. And that's why they named it the Iron Mask. Well, I'm going to drag race this thing and see how it does. I wonder what it's going to put me up against. Oh, it also spits fire. So maybe we'll see some fire spitting going okay. on. Yeah. Put them in the Iron Mask. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, that's fitting. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh you I blew it. the I blew I it. Knew you're I blew it. Blew it. Well, now you're going to have to wait another couple no, of minutes. No, now we just got to restart. All right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this is going to take forever. No. I love this content I love update. This. I love this. Okay, we're going to do it for real now. Don't look too uh, don't look too long at the car. It'll it'll blind you. Oh, that that so bright. Those kinds of reaction times are oh, wait. professional athletes in that in that. Yeah, I think you hit a cone. Expect. I did hit a cone and I had I bet it's over a second reaction time. <laughs> I bet I bet you anything it's over uh, over a half second. <laughs> 1.285. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I predicted it. Let's go again and see if we can do better than that. We need a rocking chair over uh, there. Maybe yeah. we Once need to have a, a special age. poll. How long will it take Brian to can get, I get under, three under one second is the problem no, three here. quarters of a second. Let's have <laughs> yeah. a poll run for the rest of I September. I got to pay attention to the lights, not the back of the car. Oh, that was better. You can't not pay attention to the back of that car. I'm getting worked by uh, parring 9150170099 oh. there. Par missed the shift, though. <laughs> That was easy. Oh. Still not as fast as the Nova. That's, that's the 11 right. seconds. The Nova was, was oh, epic. much better. Oh, that's good. Half a second. That's, that's more my age group. All right. Uh, well, anyway, that, that's the car. That's the, the, the super silhouette that's coming to all Forza Motorsport 7 players oh, yeah. starting tomorrow with the September update. I'd like to say that was everything, Chris, but that is not everything coming uh, in September. I know. That's kind of crazy. But uh, so we have a bunch of other miscellaneous Quality of life improvements yes. across the game, across the board. Um, I, I can't even count them. There's the the patch notes will come out soon. Oh yeah, the, yeah. So all of the details of, of all the fixes and all the quality of life improvements are in there. There's a ton of things. Data out. We should mention data yes, out. Yes, let's let's hit that. D um, if you know about data out, right? That's the feature that we introduced. I want to say in June or July. Um, it feels like earlier, but yeah. It, Essentially, yes. it's it's a it's it, we are outputting a data stream that allows you to do things like power sleds. Uh, if you wanted to hook up Forza to a motion mm -hmm. sled or something like that, it's that data out function that allows you to do that. Um, we are actually making an update to data out with September that has a ton of new information that you'll be able to take advantage of. If you're a developer, if you want to get creative and build some sort of companion app for Forza Seven, this update to data out is going to be big for you. So we'll have all the data structure, all that stuff that you really smart people in the Forza community need to make that second version of data out work for you. Um, but like Chris said, lots of lots of little wow. quality of life improvements and, and bug fixes. Yeah, it's another big update for us, um, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it, overall, the game's just much, much, uh, much better, of course. Um, and the thing that I wanted to talk to is, and of course, chats. Yeah, Every, everyone, all, all chats, all three chats are talking about <laughs> yes. it. Uh, our race <laughs> regulations, of course. Um, Forza race regulations are fur. fur. Um, we've been hard at work at this, mm -hmm. and it, it, it is not this month. Um, I cannot promise it next month. Um, it's one of those things that we're, we're honestly trying to get this thing right. Um, yeah. And of course, we're, we're, we're making a lot of mistakes here and there. Um, but uh, one of the things, just, just an example of, of how, um, how much this is changing Forza. Uh, the opponent labels, all, all the different interesting elements around uh, seeing your opponent, uh, understanding what kind of penalties they've accumulated, mm. understanding their place in real time on the track, all of these things had to be, uh, have, have to be changed because of the system. So we are, we are literally updating the entire look of the HUD right yep. now. Like, that's how impactful this, this change is. So I, I apologize. This is taking a lot longer than we expected. But we, to shove all of these features in and not be able to support it and understand what's going on it would be a complete disservice to anyone who is even trying to use this thing. I got to say, the new HUD looks incredible. It does. It, I mean, incredible. But these are the things that we, we just need to get right to actually get FRR actually out to the public. That, that's, I apologize once again. It is coming. 
Um, I, 100% it is coming. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is taking a little bit longer than we had hoped. But, and uh, a little more work. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we are getting this thing right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Forza Race regulations on their way. <coughs> we'll have more to say about it. Um, I know that you guys are absolutely curious about it. You can't wait for that feature to come in the game. Like Chris said, we will have more to say about it up until the release of that feature in the game. So look forward to that. We have a winner in our specialty dealer poll. We have a bet uh, going, so this is really important. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, let's, uh, if we could do a drum roll sound effect. No, I don't think we have that. But we could imagine a drum roll happening in your mind right now while we announce the winner of this poll. It's a silent drum roll. <laughs> silent drum roll. Uh, the winner of our specialty dealer poll, 41% on Mixer, uh, majority on Twitch as well. The winner is the USA. Group USA wins. Uh, the specialty dealer poll. So right after the show is over, I would not have guessed that. It may be going up now. The team is kind of oh, waiting. They're, they're on watching. It. They're on it. Oh. So remember, those four Group USA cars will be going. I got a donut. And there they are right there, the Cadillac ATS V Force Edition, that four GT. And I kind of, you kind of had to know that that was going to go in there, Chris. Yeah. USA. <laughs> uh, yeah, we love the USA here. So uh, those will be going in. You guys can pick those for mere 100 credits apiece. In the specialty deal. And you get 10% increase in collector score. And remember, that CU for September releases tomorrow, around about 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific. You guys know how that is. We try to get it off the same time every time. Oh, yeah. Uh, now we're going to take one more look at the schedule because we've still got more to come on Forza Monthly. And uh, we've still got different guests. And we've got that Halo showcase coming up at the bottom of the show, the, the end of the show. We're making you wait for that Halo showcase. But before we get there, we're going to talk Forza RC Series 2 with Ali Tack. And let's get you caught up with everything that's happened so far in the 2018 Forza Racing Championship season. We talked about a relatively clean start, but here's a three wide with Dino, Rich, and Asics getting caught out there. One and two a battle, three, four, five a battle. There to the inside, you knew it was coming. Ooh. Box. Bit of a dive bomb there on Davy Skills. Seven just Ooh. diving into the back of Racers there. Here's a the moment here where Box is trying to get around both him and Rich. This is Rossi's favorite place. He's going for the move. This is what he did on Rich 92 F1. It is Williams Mitch well out in front. Ooh, that's Tire a massive marks. spin. Seven. There's no better place to go than Maple Valley. By the way, the syrup there is delicious. <laughs> and boy, that is just going way too fast. He put himself on skates. Seven getting eaten up by the Bermuda corner, the <laughs> Bermuda right-hander that you were talking about there, Scott. Boy, this corner has been a beast for so many drivers today. Lightning is hanging on to this lead by his fingernails, less than his fingernails. And it's going to be an absolute cracker of a race. Is this the FRC or is this some tandem drifting? We're going to go three wide here into turn two. Three wide. Force One's got a nose in there. Julian. Oh, oh wow. that's a massive crash. Harmonic off on the side. Revs off on the side. And Vanquish is off in the gravel in the sand. And we have some contact here. Boy, we get bumper cars right now, Ali. Lap five of six, but some tells me Ooh. Revs is not done. And He's got to be careful here. As Vanquish gets into the cones, he gets into the grass, he's off to the side. And here Harmonic comes Harmonic by with it. He's got some momentum. Now he's off to the side. And Venom will hold on. That should be enough for Force One provisionally to propel himself in the global leaderboard past Roadrunner. So much action so far in the 2018 Forza Racing Championship season and so much more to come. We are approaching the Series 2 playoffs. I'm so happy to be joined by Ali Tack, one half of the commentary team, the desk team <laughs> with the Forza RC. Welcome, man. That's right. Yeah, I think the better half. Uh, you know, certainly uh, the more handsome the half. More ha yeah, the yeah. handsome half of the That's commentary team. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great season, right? What a year it's been. It's been a, an amazing season. I think back when we were starting with, this, with the Seattle Invitational, seems like a long time ago. And here we are. We've got a Series 1 champ, and we're approaching the Mexico City Finals. What stands out for you in, C in Series 2 so far? Gosh, what, what a lot there's been happening over this series. I think Series 2 has just been dominated by so many drivers coming to the championship and wanting to prove themselves. Mm. There seems to be so many people coming into the Mexico playoffs who just have a chance now to just yeah, show that they've gotten over weaknesses or they've gotten stronger as drivers or that yeah, they can be up there fighting at the top of the championship. Let's not forget, this is a really long season. We've seen yeah. guys complaining of everything from 
mental stress, to literally physical injury sure. across this series. Um, it takes a lot to be a Forza RC driver these days and maintain that level of success. It's becoming more and more professional, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's been a few years now that we've been doing those Forza RC shows, and what a difference it's been for us, partly, for the competition itself, but for the drivers as well. As it becomes more com professional, people put more practice in, and people take it more and more seriously. What an incredible, yeah, I mean, what an incredible place we're in right now as we head into the second playoff of the year. So, as we think about Series 2 so far, uh, Series 1, we have a champion. We have Box. He did a great job. He sort of, sort of uh, you know, lift the albatross off his neck <laughs> and finally got that championship we all sure. thought he could have. Yeah. In Series 2, I know he's watching right now. I want to put this delicately, <laughs> Box. Box hasn't, let's say he hasn't not dominated the way we thought he might. Pure fire, Brian. Right. Pure fire. <laughs> I love you, Box. <laughs> <laughs> but right, he, yeah. he hasn't necessarily had the results maybe he wanted. Look, I mean, Box came out of Series 2, in, it came out of the playoffs into Series 2 with great results. I think he won the first two weeks in the MEA. But it's just been week three and week four. We've watched his momentum dip just a little bit, just unable to take those wins right now. And that's... It's not a problem if it happens at the start and right. you get momentum later, but it is a problem if maybe you're going into the big event without that taste of victory fresh in your mouth. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of travel for these guys coming down from Europe, various places in Europe, sure. all the way to Mexico City. North America sort of has been seen as maybe the second class of Forza RC drivers, and maybe that's true in the grand scheme of things, but it has definitely been hotly contested in North America. I mean, I've, I've been loving the racing in North mm -hmm. America. Maybe the most compelling racing we've seen, especially in the weekly uh, competitions right. we've been watching. Uh, and it's been great because there's been more than just two people at the top, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's been a few more people bubbling up through, the, through from the bottom of the ranks. Right, right. We've seen Lightning, we've seen Venom have sure. some great results. Um, if you're thinking about, as we head towards Mexico City, who are some drivers we need to keep our eyes on heading into Mexico City? Uh, I was always going to say Billy Sue, wasn't I? But <laughs> <laughs> I, got there. I, I just got there coming. faster. Than <laughs> I, yeah. He's my favorite, is Billy Sue. Uh, partly, he's a favorite of mine going into the second playoffs um, because he's out of position. Mm -hmm. He's actually not made the races for week three and week four. He's gotten in by the skin of his teeth and is qualified right at the bottom. So it's going to be someone who has to work forward through the pack, and I think he's got the pace to do it. Other people who I can't wait to watch race mm -hmm. uh, are definitely Mitch yep. and then defending champion Box. That, that is going to be a very close matchup. Mitch match has just decided that he's going to be great, and he is, <laughs> it's sh sheer force of will. I mean, he's yeah. got all the, all the speed <laughs> in the world, but I love what I see of him on the track. He, he is an ultimately confident driver. It's confident, and one of his great strengths is that he's always able to throw a move. You know, he's got that kind of um, that edge you see in some drivers, often young drivers, um, where he'll always throw it, even if he knows maybe it won't work out. Mm -hmm. you know, he'll still just put his cards on the table and say, you know what, this is what I've got. I, I, I'm not going to lose a position, so I'm going to throw that move in. And that's the kind of attitude you need heading into a playoffs. Sure. The Mexico City playoffs happen the final weekend of September. Uh, the same weekend, Forza Horizon 4 launches in early access. This is going to be a great month, a great weekend for in Forza general, yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. But before we get there, we've got some shows that are happening. In fact, Ali, we've got a show happening this Wednesday. Yeah, just a couple of days away. We've got a uh, team event coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be right here in the studio. <laughs> and, uh, these couches, these couches. Yeah, Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Chilling out and watching some races there. And uh, we've got a team coming in, right? I believe so, yeah. We're going to have live people. We did this in Series 1. We had the TX3 guys in sure. to do some live racing. We're going to have some, uh, we won't give it away now, but we will have some live people here in the studio, and we'll get to, you know, maybe throw things at them just to make <laughs> their lives difficult. That's what we do, yeah. We, we, we ask them to spell complex words <laughs> that's um, right. that's as right. they go around the track. That's, uh, it's all been, you know, this whole Champ versus Champ series we've been running oh, yeah. on Forza RC with Joseph Newgarden and Tanner Faust matching off against each other. That's been our warm-up I think we can take show. some lessons from that exactly. for the Forza RC. And don't forget the World Finals are officially announced coming to your backyard Correct. in October. Yeah, I mean, um, so I've been extending my backyard, mm -hmm. uh, just building just things in there. Built yeah. a shed, I, I, fire pit. <laughs> I built a shed, <laughs> yeah. that's what I did. That's been my planning for this. It's coming to London, how great is that? So yeah. we're gonna be all the way over on the other side of the Atlantic, uh, doing the Forza Racing Championship. That's sometime in October. Um, and it's gonna be the very fastest drivers all there in person. We're also selling tickets for that event. Yeah. So you can come along, watch in person as they race it out for $100,000. At the Gfinity Arena there in London. Can't wait for that. Our first live event with, a, with, a, with an audience. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, if you had to pick a winner right now, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who, who do you think is going to take the world championships? The world championships this year are going to go to... <laughs> 
Oh, wow. I can't actually, I can't guess. I think, I think Lightning. Okay. Because I, I think Lightning has a lot to prove right now. He's more hungry than as he's ever been. I think he could pull it out. Okay, well, there you heard yeah. a, a prediction from Ali Lightning. We'll see. We'll hold him to it if it doesn't <laughs> come true, or if it does, Do, we'll see. Yeah, that's a contract. Uh, that's <laughs> right. It's an absolute prediction. Your career depends on it. Um, <laughs> finally, uh, GT Sunday, Forza GT Sunday. Sure. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I've been doing some streaming over mm -hmm. on uh, Sports Sport channel, just chilling out. Um, it's, a, it's a fun night. We will head on over to the GT hoppers and just uh, see what cars we like. It's kind of chill. Yep. Uh, you guys can all join in, uh, tune in over on um, yeah, Forza Motorsport, mixer.com forward slash Forza Motorsport. You got it. What, what That's the people it. are watching right now. Yeah. The, the, the channel you're watching right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really Stay good point. Stay here until that's Sunday. That's a solid point, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Ali. Appreciate that. And don't forget, you can watch the Wednesday show coming up in just a couple of days at watch.forzarc.com. You won't want to miss that right leading up to the Mexico City Series 2 playoffs. All right, guys. It's the moment you've waited for. We've, we've sort of teased it all show long. We are going to check out the Halo Showcase event in Forza Horizon 4 next. But before we get there, we're going to give you some history of the Warthog in Forza. In 2016, the worlds of Forza and Halo collided when the world-famous 2554 AMG Dynamics M12S CST, that's the Halo Warthog to you and me, arrived in Forza Horizon 3. It was the first time that this iconic vehicle was drivable in a Forza game. What you might not know is that it wasn't the first time we'd seen the Warthog in Forza. Going back to 2011, the AMG Transport Dynamics 2554 M12 Force Application Vehicle was first seen in Forza Motorsport 4. It was one of a handful of vehicles to appear in what was called Auto Vista mode back in the day. It even featured a narrative voiceover by Cortana herself. The M12 Force Application Vehicle, better known as the Warthog, is a highly mobile and adaptable platform serving the UNSC. For years afterwards, one of the most common questions we had from the Forza community was, when can we drive the Warthog? That dream came to life in 2016 with the reveal of the M12S Warthog CST in Forza Horizon 3. The CST was a direct collaboration between 343 Industries, who created this version of the Warthog with Forza in mind, and Playground, who brought it to life in the game. The Warthog in Forza Motorsport 4 was a model with a density of nearly one million triangles. Converting it from Forza Vista to an on-track experience involved making a lot of eye candy into drive candy. The drivable Warthog is a more optimized model, containing a fraction of the number of triangles, but with the addition of full articulated suspension, damage, mud, cockpit, gauges, vehicle dynamics, and audio. The Warthog is among the largest vehicles in the game, and we were fortunate to have already shipped trophy trucks and open wheel vehicles in the game, so we already had accommodations for large tires, track and ride height, and suspension travel. These are all things that push the boundaries of Forza's vehicle dynamics, our animation systems, and rendering capabilities. To celebrate its arrival in Forza Horizon 3, we actually had a real-life version of the Warthog visit Turn 10 HQ last year, and soon, Forza fans will be able to experience the Warthog once again in a showcase event that can only be found in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, it's been a long journey between for Turn 10 and 343 and the Warthog, you know, going all the way back to Forza Motorsport 4. I remember that really well, uh, and here we are with uh, a playable version, a, a Halo-themed event in Forza Horizon 4. It's so great to welcome. It's like a 500-year journey. It's a five, <laughs> yeah, it's, we're either going in the future, or, I'm not exactly sure. A long we'll, figure out the, the we'll figure out the timeline later. <laughs> Welcoming Jeff and Terrence back to the couch, and Carlos Naranjo from 343. Carlos, welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. The Super real hero, here. by the way. Is that right? Not, not a hero. This I can't hear him to say that. <laughs> well, let me, later, let, let me think about this. We got two Forza guys, and we got two 343 guys. We got a Halo showcase. Feels like a competition is brewing here. Uh, you know, Feels like we got some competition here. It was here. inevitable. Who, the, who, set the, who set it up? Though? Who set up the controller? <laughs> uh, Carlos, let us know. What do you do with 343? I'm a franchise producer. What does that mean? So I'm a producer working on a lot of projects with the internal team as well as a lot of external uh, partnerships with teams and companies that basically merging Halo and working with others on that. And it sounds like you have been involved in a lot of these sort of Forza uh, Halo crossovers I in have, the past. Yeah. Yeah, Tell us about the history the of that. Yeah, I think really just, probably just 
Forza team coming to us and then having these ideas and then us seeing how we could integrate into that and try and make the best experience possible and just working with them. It's been an awesome partnership. Well, the Playground team, I know, team must have been overjoyed to start thinking about what, what could Playground do <laughs> with the Halo universe in Forza? <clears throat> well, um, believe it or not, like as, as much as we love the showcase events, after having three versions of Horizon, it's hard to come up with new ideas. <laughs> 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 um, because we've raced planes, we've raced trains, we've raced boats. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, when, when someone had the idea of, of maybe using the Warthog to race against something that you'll see here in a second, right. um, everybody's eyes lit up. And, you know, we immediately approached um, Carlos and, and his guys. and. Um, that's been awesome. Like we work together yeah. <laughs> pretty close just to get the the Warthog drivable in Forza Horizon 3. Yeah. Mm. So you know the the relationship was there, um, and when we were talking about who has a cool job, mm -hmm. this is why I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like not only you know have I worked with the Horizon guys and the Turn 10 guys, but now it's like I, I, I've spent a quite a lot yeah. a lot of time with the 343 guys. So I think handling is awesome. a great a great example of how things sort of necessarily have to change because the, yeah. you drive the Halo Warthog in Halo much differently than you do in a Forza game. Oh, right for there. sure. And it, what's interesting too is that like it's kind of a tradition to use the Warthog as a no pun intended vehicle for even very non-Halo normal fun. Right. Like from the very beginning, it's always been whether you're tossing grenades under it and flipping it around right. or or racing against each other in a war you know, in, in Warthogs like it's always been something that kind of pushed the boundaries of even our games and, and franchises sandbox. So to have it kind of realized in these types of ways, yeah. uh, it really kind of feels like, a, in, in all honesty, like a, a full circle thing to to, to get it to a, a very cool. high fidelity way to, to do it. That's <laughs> super cool. Well, yeah. um, we're about to show it off for the very first time. Um, we we talked about that that competition. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play this a couple of different times, okay. and we want you guys who are watching right now to let <laughs> us know it's. Forza versus Halo. Who drives this event better? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have a okay. poll hmm. in Mixer, in Twitch, and you guys let us know who you think drove the event better. Now, to be clear, I have not driven this event. I, don't yes, I no. know you haven't. It's, it's, you uh, and Carlos it is, have it. It is true. T, how about you? <laughs> oh, see that yeah. face. It's all yeah. right. Here's the uh, thing. Ringer. <laughs> he's, he's driven it. But you guys are Halo guys, so I think it cancels That's each true, other. Right? I, guess. I think it cancels. So what's on the line too? I mean, uh, like I feel like we both have. Uh, I love going over to your guys' lobby yep. because you've got the Porsche 919, the P1, often the Ford GT. Right. Uh, we happen to have a, a, a beautiful museum space I've been with there. a lot of uh, Halo franchise accoutrements yes. throughout the years. Yes. Uh, I would imagine your lobby, like our museum, probably needs a good cleaning <laughs> every once in a while. So loose some white glove treatment. <laughs> white glove in the, treatment. Uh, all right, I'm up for it. Sure. Yeah, I'm up for right. it. Okay. So this is up for the fans. Okay. I These petition also the, the Forza fans, too. Yep. You probably want to see, like, nah. you know, the they don't want to see guys that. cleaning up the Halo Museum. Yeah. I feel like that they, they would be more that. fun for, for you, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so get ready to vote. Uh, T, you're going to go first. I guess I'm going to go first. You're going to go first. You got the controller. So let's right. kick this thing off. Your world. Oh, then we're going to see it. A world debut of the Halo Showcase <laughs> event. Let's kick it off. I'm stoked to see this. Live, like finally, all me completed. too. I'm ready. It's actually cheap without a helmet on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> now he's trying to get it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> the sky box. I heard it's you need perfect. a pickup. Cortana to Kilo Actual. Perfect timing. We are all done here and ready for dust off. Hey, keep your oh, down. Oh, all right. 
right, you like You're that. doing great. Like that. You're doing great. You, like that. you keep that's driving that's like that's it's Halo. Don't scan for a new LZ. Hey, you know, Chief, I'm nice on the sticks, but I would feel kind of bad beating the purveyors of the Halo. That's right. I won't feel bad at all. Don't worry. Looks like a fortification. And I kind of want to see that lobby again. It hasn't been used in centuries. Oh, all right. See what you're doing. I like it. I like it. You like okay, you like that? Oh, right. really? Okay. This ring is gonna go nuclear uh, in three early minutes, result. and we do not want to be Brian here when it does. Top, but Marines, Halo has the three four three team hasn't driven yet, so we'll have to see how they do. Roger that, Cortana. Hoorah! Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you get those awesome. here. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off road. They're saying Warthog seems a lot quicker now. So, oh, no, look at that! So Whoa, the banshees, look out. so Chris Phillips, the handling designer at Playground. Ooh, yeah, he has done an amazing job. Not, just, not only the the Try Halo Warthog, but trees. like all the cars on the roster. There was there was a timeline. You know, I was tapping people on the shoulder, like, man, you know, do we have like a new handling model? Because it's it's been improved so much. Really? Alert. It feels Banshees, really, really, really low. good. The Banshee, Warthog is actually one of the better models of vehicles in the game. So well, you know, looking for, you know, a beast. This is Cortana it's gonna to be all air support units. I'm sending you coordinates for an really, really, LZ. Really good choice. Requesting immediate yeah, evac. Repeat. All air support units to the LZ. Uh, and near and dear to my heart, we love to come up with canonical reasons for everything. Okay. Uh, I love this. <laughs> but uh, we actually did some cool stuff. The Warthog is scaled just a little bit differently. We actually have it modeled canonically as a uh, like a civilian transport kind of stripped down version as well. So the CST versus the FAV, uh, which typically has some uh, extra lethal accoutrements uh, up on the, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. on the on the back. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so there's, uh, it does, it is a little Creepy. faster. It is a little faster. But it's also a little bit smaller wow. than yeah. a typical Yeah, it's around 20, 25 percent, right? I believe, uh, because, smaller. Because yeah. Spartans are like eight feet tall, right? That is the problem, yeah. yes, uh, is if you scale it uh, to a Spartan like we have to do in our games, uh, it really just looks like you have a bunch of four-year-olds <laughs> who can't uh, reach the wheel <laughs> driving a Hummer. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> which, while hilarious, yeah. uh, <laughs> but I've seen some of the videos that uh, that you guys have of uh, people just sitting in the Halo, and they, you know, the thing is, uh, the, it's massive. It's massive. Oh yeah, it yeah. Felt so like a, I do feel like a small yeah. child <laughs> yeah. in the in the real life. We it showed was, it in that video oh, uh, look at ahead. That. Let's go! Oh my God. That is oh, awesome. Oh, oh. T, you're doing pretty well. I'm so yeah. jazzed about an this. Early, an early mishap, but I think you're making up for I, it. I want yeah. it to be competitive. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, <laughs> intentional. I, it's a, yeah, 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 that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Scarlet Pimple says, love the ring in the sky. They're, looking, they're loving that authenticity. Do we have, uh, will Halo music be included? Uh, is, is a question. We also we do are, have. will hear yeah, the, the Halo it. track during this yeah. event. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yes. That's right. We do, we do have music turned off right now on the show just so we can hear the engines and everything. But yes, Halo music will be in this event. Um, well done. You took it up to first place overall, T. You're now 40th percentile in the voting. I think we should get one of these 343. Who wants to go from 343? Let's, I think Carlos. Yeah, I'll I go, think, and that way Carlos you can clean it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way Carlos right. deserves the shot. Hit X, shot yeah, hit X, hit X and you, you'll restart the event. Uh, there, there's no time on this event. That's why we have to go with the voting on this. That's true. Um, that, it's so. like at a concert, you know, yeah. like at a crowd uh, approval, like mm -hmm. left side, right <laughs> side. <laughs> we will vote by applause. Before we start the event, Carlos, tell us about your Forza experience. Your, your, you spent a lot of time in Forza. Um, I have, especially working with the guys, but I can say that I'm not that good. Okay. So, okay. Um, here we go. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll find out one way or the other <laughs> on the track. <laughs> he could be sandbag. He could be. <laughs> now, this is where T uh, had some trouble right here. <laughs> oh, oh man. same thing. We are dead. Now, you hit, got to hit the brakes oh. to back up. Oh, Squeeze the brakes to back up. There you go. There you there go. go. It's basically now a Formula One race. You just crash in the now, first turn. Yeah, you can't hit the uh, same uh, thing twice. <laughs> Back up, reverse, hold, reverse, hold the brakes, hold the brakes. There you go. There, there you is. go. There we go. Cut there. It, cut it right. Now we're good. Cut it right. 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 <laughs> there we go. There you go. go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. We're good. Get that out of the way I early <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it later. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta get the speed I here. You. No, you gotta I no, love the Covenant we're Cruiser. Oh, we're fine. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> it's camouflage. We need, you a, can barely we see need it a little, uh, <laughs> <laughs> need a little <laughs> bit more speed. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. oh, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a trick you guys You're gonna have to back up. You're gonna have to back up, get a bigger run on it. Uh, well, actually, yeah. it's just gonna let you. Maybe you. So, I don't know. one of Carlos's uh, favorite hobbies yeah. actually is cleaning oh, lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Little That's known true. fact. <laughs> little known fact. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh -oh. I had fun getting my car in here today. <laughs> yeah. Now, you gotta, you gotta squeeze that, that trigger in the lobby and do not get, let go. There we go. No, I believe good. in you. We're yeah. good. Gas, gas, gas. You got it. There you it is. You got it. This I is believe. gonna make it. That sand is super deep. Yeah, we're good. Oh, oh, there, there it is. is. Yes. There it is. And flip. Stalled X. Let's go. Right. For style That's points. Fine. You definitely have the coolest <laughs> looking here in the lead. Thank you. The style. This is not based on speed. <laughs> no, that's right. It's no. based on other factors. <laughs> no, that's true. Put your mind at the end. There we go. Who's this Banks? I think you're getting it now. I think you're getting it. There we go. All right. We don't have two hours, so I got to put it. Now you have to be Why within the Why didn't the, the Forza smoke? stream go to 6 p.m.? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Missed dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Jeff, for, for those of, uh, uh, you know, if you don't know Halo, yep. what, what are the vehicles flying in the sky? What other Halo universe vehicles are we seeing So that's here? actually, uh, I love that question, because the vehicles that are flying in, this, uh, in the sky are my favorite ones, okay. actually, in the universe. Those are Covenant Banshees. Uh, and so those are kind of like the the small, nimble, essentially like nice. kind of like fighter craft uh, for the uh, for the Covenant Empire and some of the alien species that use it. And we're there we're we chasing go. after Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, a right. pelican. There we go. There we go. Oh, Love it. Nice. Speaking of banshees. Yeah. yeah. So yep. we're and we're chasing after a pelican. This particular pelican is a uh, a D79 model. Okay. Uh, and, and again, it's one of the things. Uh, that we really like to have fun with is, you know, different things will be visualized a little bit differently depending on the game and when it's set in the universe. So we actually have different model variants. Again, much like you would have, uh, you know, uh, uh, different model variants of a car, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the year, depending on the trim of it. Uh, we actually put a lot of that same thought into it. Sometimes it's to help explain uh, just a sheer oh, art change. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but a lot of times it actually serves a narrative function uh, and purpose as well. But we always have a blast with it. But I imagine when they, when, is it, is it the idea of, hey, we've got a new variant on this vehicle, you need to come up with a, re a, 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 a cano canonical reason for that to exist? Or oh, do I you work in does. accordance with the team? Or how does that work? <laughs> yes. Okay. It all, uh, it all. Yes. And usually it works. Okay. Period. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it actually, it's a, it really is a, a combination. We work with the artists. Uh -huh. uh, we work, so it could come from a necessity from the game team itself. Yep. From a gameplay perspective, we want this to have some different functionality. Mm -hmm. uh, it could come from an art direction where we want this to look a little bit different. Different, right. or it could come from a narrative side as well, where we actually specifically have a narrative or a story reason why we would want something to look, be, or feel a little bit different. Uh, so we really can actually come at it from uh, from all angles, which is super nice. It reminds me, T, of what we were talking earlier about how Playground was very mindful of the setting, very mindful of where we are in the world here. Yeah. Beautiful historic Britain when it came to choosing the cars that were in the game. Yeah. I love that. All things are taken into account. Everything when we, is considered. Yeah. Jeff, you know, I'm going to need you, buddy. I'm going to need you. <laughs> <laughs> is this an aggregate? I told you. Uh, <laughs> oh, look I told at this. You. This feels like a cross country event. I love this. this I actually, fantastic. I'm super excited about like oh. like the length. Uh, they'll give you that uh, of the of the experience. It's yeah. super awesome. It's it's not some little sprint. I mean, you're no. going. Now, is the idea you get Chips me? Dubbo is one of the other drivers. I've just now seen that. Oh, please. Oh, oh man, that was oh, super close. I know, I now I want to try to do that. People keep asking if we can hit sheep in the game. I want to know if you can hit those. Right? <laughs> I mean, it feels... Just take them uh, out for extra points. A warthog running through a sheep it actually sounds a lot like your TV commercial. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. And uh, what's funny is that uh, oh, 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 Halo, 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 well we Halo fans paying attention, uh, we do have some some names from the Halo universe actually Oof. as some of those alternate drivers yes. as well. Well, right. I think you acquitted yourself there at the end. You started off a little rough. <laughs> yeah. It looked good. Features. It was a great, yeah. uh, great recovery. I wanted to shot more. So Solid recovery. Okay, so we, we've had one Forza person go. We've had a 343 person go. Shall we keep that order and I'll go next? Sure. Let's okay, do it. Let's, let's go do next. It. Uh, all right, your third look at the Halo Warthog Showcase event. I'm going to do my best here. Ter my goal Terrence is to not hit that right, right hander, that, that, yeah. that obstacle. If I do that, I think I automatically win. <laughs> right? 
We'll see what we can do. Now, again, this is my first time playing this event. I intentionally, when, even when we were rehearsing this, yeah. we didn't want to see this event. We wanted yep. to experience it for the first time. Um, you should jump it off the cliff. It's cool. Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, see? Real deliberate yeah, through there. See? I see that. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, I'm nothing if deliberate and careful. All right, here we go. I believe. I believe. There it is. Do it. Well cleared. Yeah. Nice. Well cleared. See, not as much style as Carlos had, but the, it's still intact here. All right. I so, was just staying true to Halo, just jumping. That's yeah. right. You just <laughs> got to plow true. through it. Um, one of the other things that I think people are noticing in this event, Jeff, is the fact that we've got uh, Cortana here. Yes. Tell us about Cortana. Who is Cortana and uh, what, what, what purpose is she serving here? Yeah, so uh, Cortana originally in the Halo universe is kind of a, uh, an AI companion to Chief mm -hmm. uh, and re is really there to help not only enhance uh, the abilities of, of Chief by providing real-time, uh, you know, battleground information, but also the character kind of evolved into really having a personal relationship with the Chief, uh, and their kind of friendship and working relationship really formed a really interesting emotional and narrative foundation for the series going forward. So it was, uh, in some ways, from a gameplay perspective, it was awesome to have somebody in your ear oh, helping you. Him. Nice. Uh, helping you to know like where certain enemies were, or what to do, uh, go to the next <laughs> checkpoint, or yeah. kind of how to tackle. But uh, also from a story players, and a world yeah. and immersion perspective, it was cool to kind of have this character uh, that went through you through several, uh, you know, that you went through several games uh, with. So. And just like Ma Master Chief, Cortana sort of become iconic, an iconic character for the Halo, ha yeah. Halo series. Yeah, yeah ab absolutely, uh, and and uh, has come in many forms. Uh, mm -hmm. we've, uh, we've seen her be your friend, we've seen her be otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, just like <laughs> a real relationship. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> you got ups and downs. What happens if you pass <clears throat> everybody? Mission successful, that's what happens. Um, I want the last name to be Carlos. <laughs> oh, no, final final boss. <laughs> <Try and keep up. laughs> I love these hard light guardrails yeah, uh, here. Yeah, these are great. These are fantastic. Um, I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I'm sweating all over this controller. And oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm going to hand it to you in mere moments. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like holding dying. on to an, an oil true. flick. I'm just going to grab it, the controller's going to shoot just to the back. Out of your yeah. hands. But I thought I'd go first person here, just to give uh, everybody a more immersive Warthog experience. Which is funny because. Uh, oh, look at that. We, you, know, you don't get to drive the Warthog in first person in Halo. That's right. Oh, yeah, which is, right. Uh, which is always interesting. Well, I think I've only got it. Well, where am I? I'm at 80%. Uh, we see little, little known little fact, Brian is yes. the Stig. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the Master Stig. Master Stig, they call me. This People is... wanting to know when this is set during the Halo lore. It's actually oh. set uh, 500 years before the events of Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, <laughs> is that, are you being serious? Do you guys have to <laughs> canonize this as well? I have to canonize everything that I'm asked in chat. It's in the contract. Is uh, that right? Yeah. It's, oh, it's I love it. Something about that. That's fantastic. What a great question. <laughs> well, it certainly feels like a big, heavy machine. I will say that to you. This feels like what you would expect the Warthog to feel like. I want to say it feels a little heavier than Forza Horizon 3. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's still got some punch, but you know, the Warthog's never been the fastest thing on four wheels, but it definitely no. feels solid. Yes. It felt like you could flip right, it you a lot. A, yeah, I think it's 323. Right. That's right. 323. Yeah. Oh, 3, 3, 3. there is a time. Yeah, see, there we go. 323. <laughs> three. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And to give Brian's proper props, <laughs> yep. I was 332. Okay. Okay. Carlos, so you were yeah, he was, he was, I was right around that. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that was pretty close. He said yeah. 332, 330 as well. Yeah. 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 An additional three. Yes, yeah. and, and, and an additional one. Uh, I Alan, showed up to more features Alan Hartman, more content, so. Alan Hartman <laughs> called. He just said he'd be available to bring his GT in for a polishing in the next week or so. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, would, I would make myself available for that. Um, but what's weird is I actually have to take it home. Oh, uh, yes, to, got to, it. To, you know, yeah. wouldn't want to mess up the, the actual lobby. Okay, right, one so final time with our man Jeff All right, here, who's see. gonna take the final tour of the Halo Showcase Jeff, event. No pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. Let's go. Let's no go. pressure. I think you're gonna do just fine. One miss them, uh, that first, that right-hander, that block, you'll yeah. be fine. You're in good shape if you miss that. Or on, tag uh, it. Or tag it. And beat Brian's time that's, to make a statement. Yeah, that's right. If you could <laughs> hit that and beat my time, I'd be impressed. <laughs> so again, right. this is the first time looking for Jeff. Good. All right. We're looking good. So. Carlos, I'll turn yes. to you as Jeff. Yeah. I won't talk to him because he's driving. Yes. Um, when you think about, um, you know, we saw that video at the top where we were talking yeah. about bringing the Halo 
uh, sorry, bringing the Warthog into Forza Motorsport 4. Yeah. Um, can you talk a, about what that relationship is like? I mean, obviously both first party studios yeah. within Microsoft. Yeah. Um, how do those, what's that exchange of ideas like? What's that process like? Well, it's super collaborative and it's, I mean, working with the Forza team, working at Playground for us is it's awesome. It's an, a dream opportunity always. So mm -hmm. it's really <clears throat> seamless and collaborative and with all the ideas that are really inspiring and big that, I mean, we're all on board with all of it. Right. So it's really just you know, partnering and helping as much as we can. It's a lot of fun. I bet that there was a lot of discussion, T, about where this event should take place. I mean, starting on the beach, you were saying that has a history with, it, with the Horizon yeah, series. Yeah, we, we, well, we, we, we thought it would be neat to uh, come back to the beach because we had the bucket list event in Horizon 3 right. for the start. And um, as you've seen um, through the route, you get a mix. You, you know, I, I talked earlier about like th that mix of surface types. Mm -hmm. You know, we take you through a tunnel, so you hit tarmac, you start on the sand, you get the formable tech that we built. Um, and then you made the comment of loving, loving, loving how off-road it feels. Yeah. So the route was, was one where we were trying to pick literally the optimal route to not only give you like the perfect dose of Halo, but we also wanted to give you a really, really, this is a showcase event. Absolutely. So we wanted to showcase all the surface types, you know, during the event. So you get to smash through some walls. Um, you know, even like, you know, the, the time, we, we, we labored over like what, even what season this event should, should be in. Ah. Um, because... Uh, Can we do it in different seasons? So, seasons change everything. <laughs> oh. And, you know, once you go through... It's good back of the box. Oh, I love that. Yeah, if you go, if you go <laughs> through... Once that. you go through a, a, a full, you know, um, series of events, we co these events will come back, the showcase of events will come back in, in flavors that we call remixes. Okay. You know, so um, you'll see this event, um, it, it has an amazing feel in winter. And you know, uh, I bet I'm I'm kind of saying that because wow, did I think it really looked good there? Right. But it, it also looks amazing, you know, in the spring this, and in the summer. Yeah. You know, so um, you get to choose. You know, so eventually, you know, you'll you'll of course all the four seasons, and then you know decide which one is your favorite flavor. So. Well, I like what I'm seeing here, Jeff. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! That might be it. Did you think you could smash oh, it? Uh, that, that yeah. was the idea. Oh, yeah. oh. blocks bullets. <laughs> I know. We talked about this. Oh, oh my lord! It was a pretty seamless run. Oh. We were setting that up the ultimate comeback. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we planned. <laughs> my jump was planned. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You meant to Jeff do that. was gonna just. Rip through it. Oh, well, you know what? Other uh, than that moment, it's okay. you've been doing I pretty well. I just really, really like the cars in your lobby. <laughs> uh, well, he might be seeing them up close and personal, <laughs> depending on how this goes. <laughs> I think he had a pretty he had No, a pretty he, did he, he did pretty well. He, he did very well. Do not miss Don't that. Don't miss that Yes, checkpoint you're good. You. Excellent. Well done. All right. Well, across the line. See. Let's is it see better than a 330? Uh, yeah, was it 330? 320. 20. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Wow. It's controversial. Let's go. It's up to you guys in the Forza community who drove that best. You saw Jeff oh, that, wait, drove it fast. Now it's up to the community. It's, it's always been up to the community. Oh, wait, it's always been up to the community. We've got new rules for this, man. It's got to be up to the community. It's the rules. It's time to swim the start. That's what I'm saying at the top. Which community? Uh, well true. done. But great job, man. That was a fantastic drive. Uh, Paul, they're going to tell us that, man, despite all of the driving and Jeff setting a record, Terrence wins, unless no, I've that's got, the is this the, is this the that's final poll, guys? Are we looking at new, new scores coming in? New scores, yeah. new scores okay. coming in, so we'll await that for just a moment. <laughs> Remember, you guys will be able to. That was to the who do you think will win, no, not no. who do you think <laughs> did you win. Think drove it best. See, that skewed mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being told in my ears who drove it the most style. Oh, it's not oh style. okay, all right, never mind, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so remember, guys, you guys will be driving that Halo Showcase event in just about two <laughs> weeks with Ultimate a uh, Edition Early Access, which starts on September 28th. We're still awaiting those final poll results. Um, but, man, what a show we've had today, guys. Awesome. Uh, thank you for being yeah. here. Um, Big sketch, the barrier one. Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> the barrier one. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Jeff had some nice drifting, says Chief Canuck, though. Yeah, That's yeah. That's nice. You know. nice.
Uh, uh, yeah. Furry uh, Jolton is on your payroll. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> Brian, for sure. Okay. <laughs> We've got a recount, so we'll follow up with the final results later on Twitter. So follow us at, at Forza Motorsport for those final results. <laughs> anyway, uh, what a show we've had today. So much going on in the world of Forza. Between Forza Horizon 4, we are just a few weeks away. I, I think we're less than two weeks away from early access for Forza Horizon 4. Can't wait for that. Yeah. Remember, the September update for Forza Motorsport 7 arrives tomorrow. You don't want to miss that. We saw a whole bunch of good stuff. Drag, meetups, a new spotlight car, so much cool stuff. And the Forza Racing Championship Series 2 playoffs are heading to Mexico City at the end of the month. Oh, that's a lot to get through. Hope you guys enjoy this edition of Forza Monthly. For Carlos, for T, for Jeff, for all of our guests and everybody working on the show, thank you so much for being here. We'll be back in October for another edition of Forza Monthly.